Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the gymnasium. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. Got some Pokemon planned. Pokemon TCG content. Oh, boy. It's what we do here. I'm excited to be doing it. Living the dream, baby. Living the dream. I got the Toronto Regional Championships this weekend that I am uh, preparing for. That's what we got going on. So I'm thrilled to be attending another regional championships. Took a little, like a month off. Man, long, long month. No tournaments. Just kind of chilling, doing the Thanksgiving thing. But we're hitting the ground running here in December. We've got Toronto, we've got Arlington, and we've got San Diego. Back to back to back. So three regional championships. Looking to uh, do better than my last finish. That'd be great if I could crack into the top 16, get a top 8. These are the goals. We did top 64 and top 32 with the last two regional championships playing Mu V Max. Don't know that I'm going to be, yeah, barking up that tree again. No. Uh, don't know if I could see it, but Mu V Max did deliver for me. Got me some much needed points. Um, the last two regionals I attended were two for two so far on finishing and getting points at. Uh, at regionals, so hoping to keep that trend going. Thank you, Espresso Espresso, for that prime sub in the 15 months, and thank you guys all for tuning in this morning. Yeah, oh, Steve Jerkle, that's a good thought. May have to do that. May have to do that indeed. Now we had, uh, yesterday we played lost box all day goodness the kyogre that all that stuff yeah that did not uh yeah it did not impress me uh the whole kyogre business no can't say that it did let's see how do i get to was there i saw some sort of some sort of bee drill deck on Twitter I think something like that that was cool so that's what like people are asking themselves I saw uh, you know can I play a deck that loses to Lost Box these are the questions like you know I can counter Lugia but you know you can't counter everything so trying to pick what you know what decks to counter can sometimes be difficult. Oh yeah, here's the Charizard. Fortinet. Cool. So this is a Charizard B drill deck. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. That uh, you know, is the example of one of those decks like 9 0, you know, you're gonna beat the Lugia decks. If you play against a lot of Lugia decks gonna have a good time let's see what they did play against they played against a substitute other they played against mew yeah they're gonna beat the mew decks yep <laughs> probably uh arceus duraludon they beat which is pretty impressive they played against another mew deck then they beat a lugia archaeops deck and then they played against another mew deck my god uh one two three four mew decks and then Yveltal, Snorlax, Radiant Gardevoir. Is Control or something? Yeah. All right. Played against Control. Played against back-to-back -back Control. So that... Uh, it's like, yeah, you know, if you're going to play against... Uh, you're going to play against Mew decks, you know, and Lugia decks for the most part. Uh, I think the most impressive win here is against the Arceus Duraludon deck. Sometimes Intellian decks can struggle against those. But, you know, if you just swing with Charizard enough, you can get it done. So that's kind of the thought, I think. Fascinating. Now, let's see. 
let's let's log on to PTCGO, shall we? Noel asks, what underrepresented Pokemon do I want to see get a glow up in the form of a new V-Star or EX? No more V-Stars. I don't want to see any more Pokemon V-Star ever printed ever again. But a Pokemon EX? Sure. We'll talk about that. <laughs> yeah, no more. Yeah, sorry. No more. Uh... Yeah, no more V-Stars, actually. I don't want to see another. If I saw, if I never see another Pokemon V ever printed again, then I'm okay with that. But what underrepresented? That's a good question. Let's let's pose this question to the chat. I need to find my my glasses. My glasses. I can't see anything without my glasses. Um. What underrepresented Pokemon in the Pokemon TCG would you like to see get like? We won't say it doesn't have to get a Pokemon EX, but get like a real dope card, you know? I mean, like, I just picked up the gold. I don't actually own an Oranguru. Like, really? I have, all right, I have one reverse and one regular hollow, but this is my favorite one. So I just picked up this dope Primate Wisdom Oranguru. Like, this isn't a Pokemon V, but it's still dope, right? Oranguru is still getting a lot of love here. So, what. Yeah, the gold monkey is the way to go for sure. Gotta have that. The normal shiny. There's so many options to choose from. I'm a big gold monkey fan. Yeah, he's nice. <laughs> he's he's real nice. Dugong, huh? Trainer gallery, but the trainer gallery ain't gold. So much gold. Gold. Right, the cool thing about playing one gold card in the deck is that like it's you you know it's you know is that there's the Oranguru, right? You're never missing it. Kabutops. Well there, the thing is there's a thousand Pokemon now. There's over a thousand Pokemon. So it's very easy for your favorite Pokemon to not get any love, that's for sure. What kind of blew my mind was that even playing through Scarlet and Violet, and I'm having fun with Scarlet and Violet. I, I am. Definitely. I'm enjoying myself. The way that the game runs is inexcusable, but I still love me some Pokemon. I cannot deny it, okay? I can't. I can't deny it. You serve me this five frames a second, poorly running game, and I'll eat it. That's fine. I'll take it. Fake looking bologna sandwiches and all. And I'll happily log a hundred hours into it. That's fine. Sure, man. Yeah. Sure, I guess I'll spend a hundred hours of my life on this. <laughs> Whatever, man, just leave me alone. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. It's it's fun. Well, that's the thing is like you know, Pokemon is good at making fun. That's like they're good at making things novel and fun, and you know, are they good at delivering like a nice you know, uh, a nice graphical experience? No, they're not. Thank you, In Synthesis, for the Prime sub in the two months. They never have been. So, you know. I guess the hope is that maybe one day we'll all get there, right? One day. Something I was thinking about the other day. 
There's no excuse, right, Jesse? I'm I'm on the same page. There's no excuse. Something I was thinking about the you know what really is messing me up right now? Let's see. What's a what's a new card? Lugia. Let's take a look at Lugia. All right. Something I wanted to do, something I was thinking about doing is like, all right. You've got this hollow texture, okay? This card, take the take the the context, the menus, the deck builder, the card finder, all that. Just the card. It looks good, doesn't it? If you just block out everything else, it looks pretty good, right? We got Logia V. It's a good looking hollow. Even if we take it into a game, let's play a game. And let's look at how the cards look in the game. They look pretty good, right? While we're talking about graphics. The textures on the digital cards on the Pokemon trading card game online look good. Yes. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a texture comparison. Because this is actually a, a tweet I was going to make. I'm going to edit the two hollow patterns right next to each other so you can see them side by side. Okay. Looks like we're up against a Lost Box deck. Uh, I'm going to quick ball away an Archeops turn one. This is great. And... Wow, look at that. Beautiful looking Lugia V. Wow, that looks good. Now you see... One of the most important things that they do with the hollow pattern on the Pokemon trading card game online is that they they cut out like whoever is doing these they cut out the you'll notice that the hollow sheen animation does not go over top of the Lugia's face okay it goes behind it it makes it look realistic right it's a digital card but it looks real because the hollow pattern is cut out it, you notice the hollow waves are not going over they're not going over the character right important. All right, we're going to bench this. I'm going to use capture energy. And I'll get monkey. No, I'm going to get Stalland. <laughs> and then a pass. So yeah, that's something that's really important. Now the full arts are different, right? Because the full art cards are different. They have, uh, they have different kinds of texture. They're modeled after what the real life cards look like, right? But you can even see like the texture waves. Everything just looks so pretty. It looks, look and look at these gold cards, dude. The texture of the gold cards on. The Pokemon trading card game online. This looks pretty. This gold card, the sparkle, it looks nice. Right? Looks real nice. Cool. All right. We're playing against some sort of lost box deck and we're about to destroy them. Let's. Hmm, I got one Archaeops in the discard pile. Let's get our second Archaeops. I'm going full greed. Yeah, full greed for sure. Got to do it.
I'm just here to party and uh, take two prizes on some confis. Okay. Y'all ready for this? Cue the jock jams. Dun 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 dun. Pokemon trading card game. Dun 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 dun. dun. Pokemon. Pokemon man man man. Do 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 do. Pokemon man. Take two prizes on your comfy. Pokemon man. Do 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 do. Pokemon. <laughs> do 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 do. Pokemon man. <laughs> there we go. Wow, look at us. Double dip fangs. That's a third of the game right there. Yep. That's pretty cool. I'm having fun. You guys having fun? <laughs> yeah, this texture looks beautiful on this gold card. Right? It looks gorgeous. It looks incredible. This looks like something that you're proud to have in your collection. Yes. It's important. Important to take a look at this. Soak it in. I feel like this is like one of the most easy things to compare like apples to apples. It's just like, bro. Pokemon man. Pew 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 pew. Pokemon man. Pew 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 pew. Pokemon man. Do 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 do. Pokemon man. <laughs> Here comes another uh, comfy. <laughs> All right. Can they get themselves out of this one? Oh, they're going to Clara. Uh oh, more comfies. Okay. That's fine. Let's see. Oh, we got another flower selecting. You're going to need to get a Charizard and a fire energy on it. Now. <laughs> or else you lose. <laughs> yeah, that is... GG's. Uh, you would think that maybe 110 hit points would be too much. It's not. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It was fun. But this is GG's. Double dip fangs. You're out of here, buddy. See ya. Okay. Yeah, boyish good looks. Definitely just uh, send that email. We'll get that, send that email to the Gym Leader Challenge contact and we'll get that posted on there. Uh, if, but also feel free to share in the Discord, please. Um, that would be a, a good place to share. But also, yes, we'll get that updated if you just send that to the contact. It's just, you know, there's only, it's just me and Natalie, right? Um, that are working the website, so. And by me and Natalie, I mean, it's mostly Natalie. I mean, it's like all Natalie, so. And, you know, she busy. All right. So that was cool. Do, 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 Pokemon, man. The world has just begun. Pokemon, man. Do, 
Pokémon, Mann. You guys will never have any idea what I'm doing right now. They have no clue. There's no way anybody has any idea what I'm <laughs> attempting at this moment. <laughs> Well, looks <laughs> like so we're gonna have to do without these. <laughs> oh lordy, okay. Okay. So they do the cutout thing on live, but it just looks bad. All right. Do you see the difference in hollow texture, dude? Like, look at this. It looks like, it just looks terrible, right? It looks terrible. This doesn't look like a... Greased, you're trolling, dude. Definitely, Greased, you're definitely trolling. It just, it looks terrible. You're uh, you're huffing huge amounts of copium right now, Greased. Just 100%. You too, what made? It does not look fine. Yep, we're coming back. Look at the, the green and the blue bars. It doesn't look good at all. It looks like, for some reason, I look like I'm in a, in like a, an acidic pool or something. It does not look better than PTCGO. You guys are all on copium. Yeah, it does not look good. All right. Do we need to come back? All right, hold on. How do I? Can we go to windowed? Okay. Dang, bro. Dual wielding. I'm not talking about the in-game economies. I'm talking about the appearance. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm talking about what the cards look like. It does not look better than PTCGO. It looks like garbage. They need to fix it. Because that's the thing is from a content creator's perspective, I refuse to make a downwards movement. You know what I mean? I'm not doing it. I refuse to make a downward movement. All right, take a good, hard look at this. Okay. It matters, it does matter. It really matters. Can I like confirm that? Okay. Is this as big as it gets? I guess so, huh? It's looking like, yeah, that's as big as it gets in window mode. All right. That's fine. It just looks like, it just looks better over here, right?
I'm having a hard time, that's for sure. It's not ridiculously similar. No, that's what, maybe to someone who's not an artist, you know, but to anyone who actually is like, The thing is, is it should look better, not worse. This looks cheap. I agree. Live is not better. Now you're huffing copium, that's fine. All right, let's see. I'm on max resolution right now also. Okay. And these all look grainy. All these pick all these look grainy, right? This this all looks grainy. Okay, now look at this. You're telling me that this looks better than the one we saw on PTCGO with a straight face. No, definitely not. It looks ugly, bro. Yes, it's different in a bad way. It's got like some green in it for some reason. This doesn't look like real life. My real life gold cards don't look like this. I have one right here. It's grainy for some reason. Right? So what I'm saying is I'm just, I'm expecting things to not get worse, right? I'm expecting that things at least, at least look, at least the same, right? That's, I'm begging that things are at least on the same level of quality as our decade old. Keep in mind, this is a decade old client, okay? 10 years, oh, it's over 10 years old. The fact that they're, the fact that it's even, the fact that it's even close is silly. You know what I mean? Like, you have... Mythic Alex, all right. So you're saying that, you're saying that the new game, the new game should probably just be worse than the old game, right? Right, obviously. No, this is a 10 year old game that is being developed from a browser game, okay? I don't know, the new game will be better with time. How, how, how do you have that confidence? How do you have that confidence based on everything we've seen so far? Sure, but this is like, what I'm saying is that the... It's just, it's, that's what I'm saying, it's copium, bro. All I'm saying is that if we don't point out the things where it's just directly worse, then, you know, we're, we gotta expect, we gotta have our expectations at a certain level, right? Well, Yoshi, it is a, I'm telling you, this does not, you guys saying that it looks more realistic on live is just not, absolutely not, dude. If gold cards looked like this IRL, nobody would play them.
They just look, they look dull and lifeless. Look at that. We're literally comparing apples to apples here. It's the same thing. And also, yes, you've got Master Duel. You've got Arena. It does have an animation over it. It's this grainy thing that looks like ants are crawling on it. It does. Oh, it has an animation. Here, let me show you. Okay. Wait a minute. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Now we're gaming. <laughs> yes. Okay. We've got this one. And we've got this one. Now, people could say I'm being a complainer. People can say I'm being harsh. Whatever. But, dude, this is my livelihood. This is my life. Okay? This is literally how I make a living. I'm just saying, if you've been driving one car, okay? I've been driving this one car for 10 years. All right? And now, they are forcing me to drive a new car that is... Uh, way worse then I'm going to have some critiques okay I'm going to have some things to say I'm being forced to stop driving the car I've been driving and I expect that at least the new car performs as well as the old car that's, that's my hope right Sure, but things shouldn't look bad. This active, what I'm saying is it actively looks bad. <laughs> okay, so here we go. First of all, come over here, do a little crappy crap. Whoop. Okay. 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 All righty then. I'm not coping. I'm just show I'm going to show you guys side by side. The fidelity of the cards. Literally side by side. That's just what I'm doing here. Okay.
Here we go. We're both on max resolution. Don't even give me that. Don't even tell me, oh, well, resol yeah, I'm on max resolution on both clients, bro. Max res on both clients. So don't play with me. Okay. People who are telling me that this looks, they are the same. First of all, you're tripping. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Here we are. File. Exports. Media. Beautiful. Lugia comparison. Okay. Export. There we go. Almost done cooking. And here we are. Okay. Very good. No need to save that. Finally, here we are. I'm going to get my face out of here, okay? Full resolution, both cards. Here we go. 29 seconds of pure bliss. The texture on live is not better. Don't play with me. The one on the left isn't even more realistic. Okay, here we go. We need to we need to squash all of this. No. Don't make me pull out a I need to pull out a gold card, bro. There are not little grain pieces of ants. There are not little ants crawling around in my gold cards. Like look at it. It literally looks like TV static, bro. It literally looks like it looks like TV static. On the left, it literally, it literally, the 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 texture looks like TV static. No, it's not. It's not. It's not good. Okay, it looks like TV static. The one on the right looks artfully done. The one on the left just looks like TV static. It's it's nuts. Okay. All right, give me a second. Show you guys again.
All right. You guys want to do a poll? Let's do a poll. Okay. Okay, Calamity, here's the deal. It's not that the cards look slightly different, okay? Yes, of course, it's not that they look slightly different. It's that we're getting a huge decrease in quality, okay? That's the problem. So it's like, yes, obviously, I'm not talking about accessibility. Obviously, we want increased accessibility. Obviously, okay? Everybody wants that. I am the trading market's biggest crit uh, uh like i i'm the biggest critique of the trading market the trading market's terrible obviously i hate the trading market i hate the ptcgo uh 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 economy i i hate it Of course I hate the PTCGO economy. Of course I want something new. But, <laughs> but I want the new thing to at least be as good as the old thing. Okay? And that's not a lot to ask. You could get Lugias on live, sure, but they look like this. <laughs> It's like if the game doesn't look fun or rewarding to play, it's not... Oh my god, I'm not talking about whether or not the cards are easy to get. Obviously the cards are easier to get. I'm happy that everybody gave you free Lugias on live. I'm happy that you got that. However, I am arguing that the game needs to look as... It needs to look at least as good as the old one, right? And if somebody doesn't point it out... So here's the deal. If someone doesn't point it out, then I'm not convinced that someone will fix it. So, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just not... Now, as a content creator, I should not... I should not be put in this position where I have to, like, be the bad guy and point out the obvious, right? But I feel like somebody's got to do it. Because, bro, like, this is insane. Why are we going to... Why are we going to take so many steps back? Pokemon should have never put me in this place where I have to defend, like, the basic quality of our game, right? They should have never put me in this position. Never. It's it, it's frustrating. I'm just incredibly frustrated. Because I should like bro, I I'm having fun with uh I'm having fun with Scarlet and Violet. Obviously it's got graphical issues, sure. Okay. But this is a different beast entirely. But I, I'm having fun with that at least. With live, I'm not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm I really not. I'm having a bad time actually. So I don't know. I feel like we need to at least bring it bring it to attention or else nothing's ever going to happen. So.
Anyways, that was important. I had to get that off my chest. I'd been intended to do that for a while, and you know what? Just the best time to do it is live, so. I'm not your guy, buddy. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm not your pal, friend. Dream Eaters, it's no excuse. There is uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, there is... Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, okay. There are all these other things, you know what I mean? Like, sure, they're working on it, but like, dude, we should have never seen the game in this state. We should have never seen something that looks worse than what we have, right? They should, that's the whole point. They should have never let us see something that's worse than what we have. You know what I'm saying? They should have never let us see something that's worse than what we got never <laughs> we should have not seen it right yes all right so then so then the whole thing if you're saying that the whole point of a beta is to take in public critique then what am i doing that is literally what i'm doing this is public critique, is it not? So then what the heck? <laughs> but I've, the whole time, I've been saying that it's, uh, it, it's too much, it's too far away. When you release a beta, you need to be like, you need to be within striking distance of the goal. What I'm saying is that live is too far from the goal, right? It's too far from the goal because they release live. If they release live and it was like on the same level as PTCGO, and then we're hoping that with time it gets better than PTCGO, then that's awesome, right? But right now, live is starting off worse than PTCGO. So at this point, we're just sitting around hoping that one day it'll be as good as the decade old client that we wanted something better than, you know, it's like, dang, okay. We're just like hoping that we're hoping that eventually it'll be as good as PTCGO. That's just like, uh, come on, man. In my mind, when we got to see the beta, it should have at least looked as good as PTCGO, right? That's what I'm saying. PTCGO is like a six out of 10. So you're telling me that for the beta, for our new client, I was just hoping that it would be on the same level as our six out of 10 client that we currently have, but it's not. So it's, uh, it's tough. Anyways, this is something that I've been stuck on mentally for a little while. It's just like, it needs improved, right? It is my career. That's what I'm saying, man. It's my career. I care a lot. I care a lot, a lot. Ultimately, I just want what's best for the game. For sure. I'm not saying that they need to care about the hardcore players at all. Like, you're not even going to entice casuals with that animation. You know? That's, that's my biggest... I don't care about the hardcore gamers. If I cared about hardcore gaming or whatever, then I'd be ranting about the ranked ladder, but I'm not, because I don't care. What I... What, I don't care about the... I don't care if we could play tournaments on it. I don't care if we could do... Uh, I don't care if we could do, you know, ranked mode on it. I don't care any of that. I don't care about any of that. I don't care about the hardcore gaming. I don't care about any of that. I just want it... I, I just want it to at least look nice. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. Brady, this guy hates gamers. <laughs> Yeah, Nick uh, Steenine says, as someone who started playing this year, I wouldn't have if it looked like live. That's my, that's like one of my biggest problems. Like, you just need to hire an artist, man. You need to have an art. You need to hire a really good artist. And I understand, like, maybe you're trying to. My issue with it is like, okay, maybe they're trying to save face, or not save face. Maybe they're trying to just get like the the stuff under the hood working. That's what Saucy Psyduck, it is not unreasonable for us to expect it to look as good as Arena. It is not unreasonable. That is not an unreasonable ask. It is not, right? It is not. That is a very reasonable thing, right? Pokemon is a hugely profitable franchise with a hugely profitable card game. They can hire an artist. So... Maybe you can make the uh, you can make the argument, and that's what Arena is also a six out of ten. People don't even love Arena, but at least it looks nice. Maybe you can make the argument that they're trying to get the stuff under the hood working, which it's not. Four Seal Stone doesn't work. There's a bunch of cards that aren't working. It's like every time they release a set, it's like okay, cards aren't working. So like maybe they're trying to get that stuff together first. But the thing is, is like you're compounding the fact that the cards don't work on top of the fact that it looks bad if like you need to give us something and then so like the one thing that they are giving us is free cards they're just like well free cards free cards free cards but you can't buy my admiration okay you can't i'm not just you can't just buy my you, you can't buy my loyalty you can't just give me free cards and just be like uh and, and just have me just like go away because I care more than that. So, and also free cards aren't going to keep people around if the content is not up to par. I I have been arguing the whole time that they need to buy Dire Wolf. Dire Wolf knows how to do it. It's like why, you know, you can buy company. They already bought Millennium Print Group. You got pretty much infinite money. I've been making the argument that they should buy Dire Wolf because Dire Wolf is experienced and, and can help them with the things that they're struggling with. So that that's like one one thing that I think they should do is probably buy Direwolf. Um, because then you want to bring it in-house. I understand that. So then bring the devs into your house. <laughs> bring. Uh, that's kind of... I think that that's fine. You've been working with them for 10 years. We have a good working relationship with Direwolf. Why don't we just continue that? So... That's one thing. Um, another thing is that they need to hire an artist, okay? They need to hire an artist who can help bring the quality and visuals of the Pokemon franchise to the client. I understand they want to get everything under the hood working, but, like, I will make excuses. I'll go, I'll cap, and I'll, I'll go to bat for it. If at least it looked beautiful, but there were technical difficulties, I'd be like, okay, that's fine. Uh, but if it like worked, if it worked like a dream, but it didn't look quite as nice yet, then I'd be like, okay, that's fine. There's like, you know, there's, there, it's fine. But the problem is, is that neither, there's neither of them. It's been in open beta for a year. Now, every person in the world can download this on their phone and experience the Pokemon TCG. It needs to start looking good now. Okay. Because everybody is getting exposed. You can't, 
you can't have a first impression twice. This is going to be countless people's first impression with the Pokemon TCG, and it needs to at least look as good as the thing that we're, you know, kicking out. So it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's bad, man. You know what I mean? It's been an open beta for a year, but what have we really accomplished in that year? I feel like they're, I feel like they're working so hard just to try and get the game to work, which is something they haven't been able to accomplish. It's like cards keep being broken or whatever, right? So it's like they're working so hard to get cards to work that they can't focus their energy on any of the other things. You don't have to explain to me what a beta is. I've been playing video games for my entire life. You don't have to explain it to me. You don't have to... No, dude, it's it's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Yes, beta is used to fix up functional bugs if there's still issues. But the problem is, is that there are new sets coming out every three months. So if you, you can't just, you're going to be in this wheel forever where you're trying to code cards and then, and then troubleshooting. You're going to be stuck in this hamster wheel the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Because... They're gonna keep releasing new cards. We got new cards coming out next month and we got cards from the last set that don't work yet. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and we've been doing this for a year. You know what I mean? We've been doing this for a year and it's just, it's it's it should have never been like this is what I'm saying. It should have never been like this. They should have never put us, especially us content creators who do nothing but promote this game, okay? Who do nothing but try our hardest to bring new people in. They should have never put us in this situation where we have to field this, okay? And it hurts that we are in this situation. It hurts. It hurts that we're put in this situation where we have to struggle like this and just like be in this weird spot, okay, for a long time. But anyways. Yeah, it's just, it's frustrating. It's frustrating. I'm just incredibly frustrated all the time. So that's what it is. I'm frustrated. It's really, it's just, it's just a really hard position for me to be in, you know? And I feel like, yeah, I feel I'm upset that I'm, I'm put in this situation at all where like, I have to be like, I don't like being negative or some bad guy or whatever, dude. I'm just trying to have fun. And like, but anyways. I don't want to live like this. But I got to call it like I see it. So, anyways. I love Pokemon cards. I love the Pokemon community. Of course, being able to play on your phone is good, Dream Eaters. Of course. Like... We want this. We all want this stuff. I want this stuff, too. I want the game to be more accessible. I want it to be available on the phone. I want all of that. But it also needs to be able to be up to par with... Anyways, here we go. Let's get. Let's game. I'm out. I'm done talking about it. Let's be gamers. Okay, looks like I'm up against a Stone Journer Claydol deck. This is super cool. Hold on, I gotta start round records. Looks like I'm up against a Stone Journer Claydol deck. This is super cool. 
the idea of this deck is that they can't play any supporter cards in order to accelerate energy into play with Claydol. We've got a solid opening hand with Quick Ball and Colrus's Experiment. I don't think this... Well, the Path to the Peak will actually make a difference because that will make it so that they can't use Radiant Greninja. So I'm going to get a Superior. Unfortunately, no Energy, but Superior V down is pretty good. And we'll drop a Path and pass. So we're going to try and set up our Superior V-Star and Cricketoon. Cricketoon makes it so that all of our grass Pokemon get 40 more hit points. So we're going to have this huge superior and then we're going to heal all of the damage off of it with our Altaria. Here's Culver's experiment. We need energy. No energy. That's fine. We'll get one next turn. We can grab research, quick ball, and evolution incense. Seems fine. We have another superior. Evolution Incense can go get us Altaria. And we can quick ball away the Culver's experiment, set up another Tot. And we're chilling. Pass. They've got a Galarian Zapdos with two energy on it. It's pretty cool. And they got nothing else going on. Dang. We do find a grass energy, though. That's sick. And research. There's all our energy. Now my superior's got a hefty 310 hit points. Now it's got even more. They've been just Snorlax. They cannot get it into the active position, though. We'll grab Marnie. And not going to play it yet. Our path to the peak is turning off their Radiant Greninja, so they couldn't use that to help them draw cards. Now we are ready to go in, folks. We've got another Altaria set up. And Grass Energy will retreat. And here we go. Regal Blender. They are ready to go. I can move an energy back. That's fine. Oh, I'm going to get paralyzed. That's unfortunate. Well, they have to discard it. Well. <laughs> That's fine. We'll move a double turbo back to Altaria. And that's cool. They wouldn't paralyze me here. There's no chance. No, they got Snorlax. Cool. I'm chilling. Time to Marnie. Double turbo energy. Let her rip. Nito. I think I'm going to give him the Starwinder. I'm not trying to necessarily get paralyzed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I think I'm going to just hit and run into like this guy because if my dude superior gets paralyzed we're going to be having a bad time yeah there's the Galarian Zapdos sure it's got it's three energy now capture energy from Mew I wish I could 
I wish I could get enough good games with a superior deck. I feel like we're so close. Need a slash for 50? I'm going to trip over, dude. And then next turn, watch out. I'm a slash. I'm not going to move this tot. Like, the Galarian Zapdos, if they get this thing going, they can paralyze me and then just stick me there forever, I guess. It's not really what I'm trying to do. Oh, Voel, I know you're trolling. I know you're, tro you're trolling, oh, Voel. You're like, I've, I've thought for a long time that maybe sometimes you're trolling, but now you've, you've gone too far, oh, Voel. You see my stream title. You're here. You have to see the stream title. I know you're trolling now. You just revealed your hand. I now know that you are a troll. I know. You revealed your hand. You made it too obvious. I always, For a long time, I thought maybe he's trolling, maybe he's not. Now, I know that you are definitely a troll. <laughs> yes. I'm going to slash him, dude. You're goofing. Why would you ask me if I'm going to the Toronto Regional Championships if I have it in my title so that people like you don't ask? <laughs> That's not goofing. That's just being annoying. <laughs> it's like, hey, bro, I literally answered the question in the title for you. <laughs> and you're, you're just trying to, you're just being annoying. <laughs> It's all love, but dang, bro. Why you got to do me like that? Oh, Voal says, I guess I would assume if you're planning to get ready for a tournament, you wouldn't be playing meme decks. Well... What if I have a really good deck with my team, but I can't reveal it because uh, then I would be showing everybody what I'm going to be playing? What if what if that's the situation? So then you would be assuming wrong. Can't show the sauce, right? Oh, uh, the Trackian's invincible? That's annoying. What do you want me to do about that, you know? Does the deck involve Lugia? <laughs> Listen, you guys don't need me to sit here and just play Lugia all stream, okay? We don't need that. I already have two videos. Two of my last five videos are already Lugia. I can't have it be more. I gotta play other things. I already played I already played my Lugia deck today. Why am I Why am I playing this? Flip heads, Cricketot. 
please. I've only got seven cards left in my deck. I got way too many prizes left to take. Thank you. Yo, get get in there, Tot! Get in there! You're a legend, Tot! You're a legend. I can show you guys. Let's see. I was looking at Duraludon decks. Man, Duraludon stinks. Zapper kick. Oh my gosh, it's not knocked out. They're gonna just deck me out, dude. <laughs> they can't just deck me out with this Galarian Zapdos. Because I don't play any Switch. I've only got three prizes left to take. Toga Kiss is the spice for beating Lugia. What kind of Toga Kiss deck are we talking about? This is this is not going well. All right, they got the Terrakian. I can't gust around the Terrakian, so I have to just promote like. You know, Senor over here. I got a Marnie, that's fine. I'm not playing any cards. I. The thing is, is that every other turn they paralyze, and every other turn they're invincible. The zapper kick only does 40 damage, bro. I'm going to deck out. Straight up. I can't gust around this thing. Okay. So, what I need to do... Is pass. Okay. Well, I have Gust. It's Serena. I usually don't have to Gust around single prizers. Usually. Now they've got three clay all set up now. So now I will... Not move. <laughs> so they're gonna bring up Terrakian and they're gonna do the invincibility thing. Okay. So then what I have to do is I have to promote a tot. Oh my gosh. I don't think I can win, bro. Um, I don't think I can win. I need to put the tots in there. I need to put the grass in there. Marnie. Okay, I've got a tot. Okay. Retreat into tot. 
pass. I think I, yeah, I think I just simply lose. Because they retreat into Zapdos. They can zap or kick. All right, this is all damage. Okay, that's fine. How much HP has he got? 130 probably, yep. Oh, and he doesn't get knocked out because of the... Oh yeah, I need to scoop this up big time. I forgot my tots don't even get knocked out. Yeah. I had to evolve to get... Yeah, it just... Listen, man. That was the perfect checkmate for my deck. That's fine. We got him this time. Skilled at luck, what kind of Togekiss deck you talking about? Togekiss VMAX? Alright, there's fire cards in that deck. We gotta put this deck away. Yeah, alright, I'll scoop. That's fine, we're done. Can't play this deck. We tried. Can't do it. Sad. Togekiss with four evil tall. Turbo Bark? You guys think I can win a game with Turbo Dark? What do you think? You think we got it? Oh yeah, this deck's broken for sure. Oh, come on. What is this? What happened to my Elo? Oh, is it? It's a mill deck? Okay, I guess. Thank you, Jay Belanti, for that prime sub. Appreciate you, Jay Belanti. Cool, so what, let's see, discard the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Holy moly, they're milling. <laughs> Holy smokes, bro. Uh, they out here, they out here milling cards for sure. Um, yeah, well, let's just, well, let's just do turbo dark things, you know? That's fine. Let's just knock this thing out, turn one. Yeah. Y'all down down for that? Oh yeah, baby. Let's go. Don't need that. Don't need to do a lot of damage. Ultra ball away these. And then I'm gonna get one of these. Sure, we'll do that, we'll do that. Do that and research. Looking for a dark patch. Dang, bro. We're not able to find one. Quick ball away that. My Radiant Greninja is prized. Sad. Trekking shoes. No. Trekking shoes. No. Yay! Dark patch. <laughs> Dire flame wings. Turbo dark. Ah! <laughs> ah! Well, 
Let's go, dude. You don't need to mill me. I'll mill me. Ice skew? Oh, yeah, you're getting poisoned for sure. Just get out wheezing. Jinx, what do you do? Oh, lordy, have mercy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm in over my head. <laughs> it's fine. Everybody in this deck can attack. That's fine. All right, they're going to bring somebody up. That's fine. Curse shovel. And they're going to allure like Crobat. But Crobat, oh, and I get confused. That's annoying. Okay. Uh-huh. I think I want no liabilities in play then. Okay. That's fine. Arburn, 17 cards in deck, that's fine. Mill two, dark, I've got two stadiums in the deck. Here we are. Radiant Greninja on board. Not necessarily sure that I want to play that down, but it's cool. Dude, Turbo Dark is never a bad time to Turbo Dark. That's for sure. Who doesn't like updated Turbo Dark? Come on. Nah, Turbo Dark is sick, bro. Write a Turbo Dark deck list on the Toronto. All right, in my testing, I will. Full disclosure, in my in my group's testing last night, I did force, I forced Jesse to play some games against my Turbo Dark deck. <laughs> I did. I did do that. So. Dang, well, I didn't know there was going to be a mill tank. Not forced, but at, I asked. And he obliged. Dang, why did I discard both my... Uh, There we go. You are poisoned. No abilities for you. <laughs> no, we tested on PTCGO, man. Come on. It wasn't like that. Listen, sometimes... Just sometimes, you know, in your testing group, you got to you got to make your friends uh show you that your bad ideas are bad. Just sometimes, right? 
Misfortune Sisters. Consider adding Ho O V for the spice. Could. I'm gonna route wheezing, 50 damage. Oh yeah, this thing's going down, bro. Free matchup. Absolutely free. It's so free, bro. Look at this. Yeah, we beat the control deck. Yes, look at you. I'm pogging out of my gourd right now. Senti Scorch VMAX Pogo Charizard Icky, you always got the spice, don't you? We got three prizes left to take. I got some work to do. I love a ball guy. Man, am I playing Gym Leader Challenge? Because it's sure starting to feel like it. Okay. Pretty sure we could just poison this thing. And that's fine. Dark Rock coming back, baby. Any deck that can use Galarian Weezing is kind of cool. Dark Rock can one hit KO stuff. You got Galarian Weezing. Yo, thank you, Pokevon. I'm glad you're having fun with that. That's sick. Good stuff. Pass. That's right. Oh, how many ball guys are in this deck? But you can't use Peeperell. <laughs> You're stuck, bro. <laughs> You're stuck. <laughs> can't do anything. What do you do? Oh, that's fine. I got to build up enough energy onto Weezing that I could retreat it if I need to. This is sick. I have one more training court left in my deck. The ditto can't use sudden transformation. Yup. Yup. Oh, and I got scoop up. Oh yeah, you're sauced. Absolutely sauced. Turbo Dark! Turbo Dark! <laughs> Thank you, channel. The tier one sub in the eight months. That's right! Turbo Dark! Let's go, dude! Wait, is Tricky Jim toxic? Why is he toxic? I kind of like Tricky Jim. Why is he being so toxic? Turbo Dark! <laughs> Thank you, channel, for the tier one sub. Let's go. Just a little, a little toxicity as a treat. Just a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, Snorlax. I've been trying to answer that question for a long time. Now, listen. I did ask Jesse to play some games against my Turbo Dark deck. Uh, it was only a few games. It wasn't... I know. The story sounds better if it's... 
You got to be toxic when you're playing the wheezing deck. I think that's them's just the rules. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> I got what we need right here. <laughs> All right, I'm up against a Lugia deck with my Turbo Dark deck. They've just got Stoutland, Powerful Colorless, and Pass. I've got a Darkness Energy, and I will gladly ascend into Galarian Weezing. We've got a lot of outs in our deck to draw, so I'm not worried about this slightly lackluster hand right now. And my opponent can't do anything that involves an ability. So that's good for us. I've got Galarian Moltres, which I probably don't want to bench really at this point because we just want to force this Weezing active until we're ready to build up a board. We're just going to leave this thing here. Now they are working towards a Double Dip Fangs. Double Dip Fangs will not take a bonus prize against my Weezing because it's only if it knocks out basic Pokemon. So it should be a two-hit KO, though. As we can see, we got an Ultra Ball here, but do I want to play it? Not yet. I think, well, okay, they could double turbo and wild tackle me. So actually, eh, that's fine. Yeah. We probably... put down the Galarian Moltres with the two Darkness Energies just to have it. And I'm not going to bench anything else yet. We're just going to Severe Poison. So that way, if they do go for the Wild Tackle, then that's fine. I'm kind of like chilling at that point. So we'll do this. And then we'll wait. We've got... Yeah, they're just going to double defense. So that's fine. This is kind of what I wanted. Stoutland can just take, you know, some extra damage. They don't have a way to break the ability lock. They're just going to go for a two-hit KO with double dip. Not even a two-hit KO. They need another, uh, another good energy in order to do that. I still think we wait a turn. Which seems good. So... Yeah, we'll pass. I think I could keep the darkness energy in my hand. I want extra cards to be able to Ultra Ball away, so I'm good with this. Now, if they Wild Tackle, they do 30 damage to themselves, so they'll get KO'd guaranteed going back into their turn if they do. I can also ascend into my second Weezing, which is something that... They probably are not expecting me to do, but I will gladly do. They've got Capture Energy for Raikou. They're going to knock themselves out, right? So then I've got this Ultra Ball. They're going to get knocked out. My second Weezing's prized. Okay, so then it's game time. I actually have to play now. Well, that's annoying. Okay. Sure. Let's go in. We'll Ultra Ball away, Choice Belts, and Darkness Energy. Yes, my second Weezing is prized. It's game time, gamers. Time to unleash the Kraken. Okay. Stoutland's got to go down. We are going to just let it get KO'd from Poison. We don't want to put down... Too many single prizes. They could Raikou, and I guess we'll just promote the Moltres. Well, it's like we don't want to let them soften up something. I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? That's fine. Let's quick ball away the Darkness Energy. Don't want to give them that because of the Raikou. 
We want to get Darkrai. And then Ultra Ball. Away these cards. And just get another Darkrai. That's cool. So we'll do that. And then research. Okay. Got Dire Flame Wings. And the fear is definitely that they just bring up the Raikou or whatever, but I guess so if we let them bring up the Raikou eh, it's fine. Send up Crobat and pass. Attach darkness energy to Dark Rai. Pass here. Statlin goes down. We take two prizes. We got training courts and dark patch. Now, if we had the second wheezing in our deck, that would have been pretty cool. Definitely. But unfortunately, we do not have that. Cards in my discard pile that we can take advantage of. We have Ultra Ball and Dark Patch. I mean, I'm going to be able to get as much energy in play as I want. Looks like we're getting Marnie. That's fine. I thought about including a rod in here, but... You know, ain't no time for ordinary rods when you're just being turbo. So, ain't nobody got time for that. Here come the Archeops. And they're going to amazing shot, probably knock out my Moltres. Which is fine. So then I want to attack with... A fresh Galarian Moltres, I guess. To knock out Raikou. To just force another single prize Pokemon. Seems like the plan. They actually... What? You, you don't have it? Oh, well, now you lose. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, you just, did you draw into all your Aurora energies? Yeah, you did. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, you're not going to be able to win now. Okay. Okay. Crobat number two. Here we go. Draw some cards. Oh, baby. I'm zooming. Trekking shoes. Sure, yeah, we'll take that. Trekking shoes. No. Okay, another dark ride. Alrighty, right. Dire flame wings. Okay. Retreat into... Let's see, probably Darkrai, actually. Dark Patch. Retreat into Darkrai. They play Path, right? How many Path do you think they play? It's fine. We'll just Dark Pulse for 270 damage. That's cool. I like that. And then they've got Lugia V-Star. So they can juice it up. Try to take a big one-hit KO. Hopefully they just don't path. And then I'm just eating good.
Roxanne to two. No path. Mole trays. That's kind of cool. Does do a lot of damage. So long as we got no path, I'm chilling. No path, we're chilling, as I said. So I just need to do, uh, you know, a lot of damage. Now I'm down both my crowbats. I mean, holy moly. Yeah, that's cool. Dark patch to dark eye. Dark patch to dark eye. This is a crazy star abyss. You never thought you were going to see star abyss for double trek. Or for trek choice belt? Because <clears throat> we've got three, six, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 300. I think that's it, right? Yes, this is what we need. Cool. Tracking shoes. No. Dang it. It's fine. I think we still have it, right? You know, I'm not the best at mathematics, but I'm pretty sure we're there with this. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. So we take our two prizes. <clears throat> and then... We've got Galarian Moltres. We need... Hmm. Serena, I can end the game on Luminion. I don't think they can knock out this Darkrai unless they attack with Moltres, in which case I just want to KO that with Moltres. So I think I'm chilling, right? Yeah. We got it right here, folks. GG's. This is a wrap, son. That's it. Yeah, Turbo Dark is always fun, man. Everybody loves Turbo Dark. Myself included. Look at the... Man, my last Turbo Dark upload... It's just Turbo Dark, right? I mean, it's just a Turbo Dark deck. Let's see, how long ago was it? Three months ago. It's got 56,000 views. <laughs> it's just got Dark Eye on the front. That's all it takes. Broken duck, dude. We could play the fish. I think I just play crowbats and but we don't need to. You don't you'll start it. You don't want to start it. Your bench space is precious in Turbo Dark. Turbo Dark back at it again. I'm going first. Well, this is a terrible opening hand. <laughs> Why you got to do this to me? Against a grass deck, huh? I don't want to play against your grass deck. Next game, please. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Get off my ladder, Durant. I am playing against you. Do we want to go second and just get the turn one attack? Are we that greedy? No. That's insane. Yeah, we'll go first. No, no, no. We'll go first. Going first is responsible. What is this? Oh, is that Reggie? 
Oh, we beat Reggie's, I think, right? I don't know. If I just get like, do we beat Reggie? I don't know. I got to get wheezing out. The wheezing certainly make this deck a lot better than it used to be. Okay. So we start with Galarian Moltres. Because I've got Scoop Up Net in my hand. All right, we're up against Regigigas. We've got Trekking Shoes for a Crobat. Yes, sir. We'll bench Darkrai, Moltres, Moltres, Crobat to draw some cards. Okay. We've got a little bit of a tough situation here, but that's okay. We're going to scoop up Net Galarian Moltres. Put the Crobat down. And, hmm. This seems like a mistake, but we'll do it and pass. Unfortunate double dark patch research this next turn, but that's fine. Also, Reggie probably plays Serena now, so Serena can allow my opponent to gust around my wheezing. But that's okay. They've got a handful of Reggies. They've got Path. Ooh. Don't like that card. I just want to play against Lugias with my with my Turbo Dark deck. I'm like convinced I can beat Lugia. I'm convinced I can beat Lugia some of the time. <laughs> Not like this. No. No. I need to get my wheezing up. It shouldn't be that hard. Unfortunate that we're getting rid of both of these. Yeah, it's literally the same Turbo Dark list as before. Plus Serena's and Weezing. Um, yeah, we just research for sure. That's fine. Okay, go get coughing. <laughs> and here we go. Coughing, uh, dark patch, and I hope you do nothing. That's the, my main goal is for you to do nothing while I do this. That's what we got. Electromagnetic sonar, what you gonna get with that? That's fine. I don't particularly care about any of those. It's not the same list from three months ago. We got Serena, and we've got Weezing in here now. Before, I did not have Weezing. Now I have got Weezing. But a similar list, it, I'm still working on the list. We out, we out here grinding on that perfect turbo dark deck list I'm not you know I've just this is just a recent update last night I just decided to tweak it slightly now your guys are experiencing like my first few games with the new list oh they got a Reggie Lucky I need them to never Serena that's for sure. 
Thankfully, this Regieleki can only hit the bench Pokemon, so that's okay. And their dude is super poisoned. Trekking shoes, it's fine. Dark Darkrai is weak to grass, which is sick, so... You know, there's no... No grass-type Reggie. Love that. Oh, yeah, dude. Leafy Poncho ain't worth it. You got too many Pokemon V. You're gonna have at least, like, two Crobat. You're gonna have a Darkrai or two. Yeah, it's... Woo! We're getting Marnied. Okay. That's cool. And then just get a scoop up net back. That's fine. I took the first prize, guys. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Well, well, well. Cool, I got training court, but I do not have my Dark Rai V Star yet. I need to find that guy. So that I can I don't even know what I would need to do with Dark Rai V Star. I'm kinda just chilling, bro. You got scoop up net, then what? Nothing. Nothing. You don't have anything. Maybe I should put Hisui and Sneeze learning. No, nah, we got Radiant Greninja. Radiant Greninja is far superior. They have Serena. No! <laughs> no! We knew this day was coming. Where they would inevitably use Serena to bring up one of my dudes it's kind of fine though I don't really think that they can like one hit KO any of my guys really so that's okay you don't want to attack with this guy though because I can just, like, poison him. And then he can't attack again. So I think we kind of just get back in our zone. Where we just poison. And they just have to let it happen. That's fine. And then... I got a scoop up net on Galarian Moltres. And I quick ball away Galarian Moltres for my other coughing. Tash out there. Pass. And then. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> So they can finally knock out my yeah, but it's cool. I got I got a backup wheezing right here, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Take our prize. Now the Registeel. There's Darkrai. Cool man. We'll take it. Dark Patch. Poison. <laughs> 
Got to be careful. I only got like 12 cards left in the deck, so. Eventually, it's just going to be like, all right, swing, swing, swing. I got to get enough of a lead, though, with Weezing. There's no way you got another Serena in that hand. Absolutely not. No, you do not. I think they probably learned from their mistake of uh, attacking with the Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock not being able to attack back to back turns is quite bad. A little poison. I don't want my Dark Rod to get knocked out, but it's fine. If they have Serena to get around my wheezing again. I'm almost at the point where we just swing. They have Marnie. Okay, good. I get to save my other Dark Rye. Once I take one more knockout, I'm quite confident that we can just win the prize trade. Static Shock. All right. That's cool. I do want to be careful and not overextend. Quick ball away, Radiant Greninja. Oh, I ain't nothing to quick ball for, so that's fine. Two dark left in the deck. Stadiums. Okay, we'll put this here. And poison. One more knockout and I'm going in. There's an air balloon in my deck, so I can retreat this Galarian Weezing. If they don't move this Regilecki, they have Serena. Okay, that's fine. So they're going to knock out the Darkrai. But if they knock out the Darkrai with this Regilecki, then it gets knocked out coming into my turn too. Which is fine. Yes, and they are going to take this knockout with the Regilecki. So then it gets KO'd it's like, I'm going to stop your... I'm going to stop your uh, abilities again, right? So then I might as well just send up the wheezing again. That's fine. And then we pass the wheezing active. No need to play any of these cards. Just pass. Gift energy not activated. And then we try to just go swing, swing. I think. All right. Can they get around my, re my wheezing the final time? Is it time to start swinging now? I go to two prizes left. I think it might be time to just swing now. They have to take two, but they can't one-hit KO my guys. They don't have anything that can one-hit KO my guys. And they've got this Reggie out right now. No, because they're going to retreat into this guy and get back Serena. So I think it's time to go. I think. No, oh, we'll see. Maybe I mess up, but I'm going to give it a shot. Now, if they have Reggie Drago with a choice belt, I'm in a bad spot for sure. Can we do it? We are close. I do wish I had 
I wish I had Dark Ride number two set up. That is one of the flaws of this list is that it's only a two two Dark Ride V Star. I probably need slightly more than that. But I don't want to. Maybe just a rod then. I think one rod would be fine. Because a 2-2 two -two Dark Ride V-Star is like honestly fine. Rod would be good. Because we have a 2-2 two -two Weezing line and a 2-2 two -two Dark Ride V-Star line. Two Moltres, two Crobats. A lot of twos. So how do I win this? Pokestop? Training Court's so good, though. Because you just like having extra energy all the time. All right, they're going in with the Regieleki. That's fine. We need a Crobat VMAX, dude. Be sick. Choice belts. Okay. They targeted bolt that. So then if they just hit for yeah, that's that's basically checkmate, more or less. It's not really anything I could do about it. I'm going to get knocked out by Reggie Drago no matter which way, or Reggie Gigas no matter which way I cut it up. So, yeah, that's well played. I think I needed to... Um, yeah, a little close at least. Yeah, they got it. GG's. Power up the Regigigas with a twin. Or they could do it with this guy, yes. That was close, though. Reasonably close. I think we're doing fine if we can get another uh, Dark Ride powered up there. I'll show off the list real quick, and then I will be right back. Got to take a quick break. Thank you guys for being here. My Turbo Dark deck featuring Weezing. A little susceptible to Serena, obviously, but a lot of fun. We will be right back. Hang tight. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com, the sale we got going on there. Help support the content. We'll be back in a minute. Not that one. That one. Very good. This brilliant.
Okay, we're back. Hey, thanks for the patience. Scoop up net is broken. You guys know something that I've noticed? Like when doing uh, gym leader challenge videos and things like that. There's some broken sets out there. You know what? What do you guys think the most broken set in the Sword and Shield era is? And why is it... What do you guys think the most broken set in Sword and Shield is? I don't think it's Fusion Strike. Nah. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you it's Rebel Clash. It's Rebel Clash, bro. Yeah. Rebel Clash is nuts. Dude, this set has everything in it. Boss's orders printed in Rebel Clash. Y'all didn't even have this card until it was printed in Rebel Clash, bro. You didn't even have boss's orders until it was invented in Rebel Clash, just saying. Scoop up net. One of the best cards in the game. Bro, some of y'all don't even know how to play without this card. In standard format. Some of y'all don't even know how to play without this card in standard format. Straight up. <laughs> some of y'all have never played without this. So you don't even know how to conceptualize the game without this card. This card changed the game. 100%. It had Tool Scrapper. Which is the only tool removal we had. Until, uh, the only tour we we had until the vacuum card. So for like a year, training court, one of the best stadium cards. Like, I mean, this this stadium card is good. Like, in a in an eternal sense, right? I mean, this this stadium card. Like, when you're talking like gym leader challenge, I mean, it's good like that. It's good like it could be good forever because training court's just a it's just a busted card. Gets you uh gets you basic energy back. Insano. What else we got in here? Bolton was nuts, dude. Remember Pikaram with Bolton? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Thing was nutter butters. Dragapult was the BDIF when it came out. One of them. Eldigas. Gold Frostmoth. Poggers. Galarian Weezing. Broken. Yeah, this set, maybe it wasn't the best, best set, but I mean, it was, this card was insane. Did well. But this set's, it's definitely going to be one of those sets that's like really messed up when it rotates. Because it's like, dang, man. This set has been defining. Oh, and isn't there powerful colorless energy in this set? Capture energy. Capture energy. Capture energy. I'm pretty sure powerful colorless energy. No, that's darkness of blaze. All right. But capture energy? Twin energy? Yeah. I'm just very impressed with how broken Rebel Clash was. Just is like an all-around set. 
I mean, boss's orders, dude. Boss's orders in that set. First print. Scoop up net. Speed lightning energy. Capture energy. You got a lot of really nutso stuff in that set. For sure. Yeah, Brilliant Stars was also super meta-defining. That's true. Yeah, Brilliant Stars was kind of nuts. Brilliant Stars just changed everything. Because you got Arceus, right? You got double turbos and you got Arceus. Oh, does it only... Come on. Oh, wait. Do I have both now? No Rebel Clash. Just Brilliant Stars. Apply. There we go. Brilliant Stars, I mean, Arceus, it's hard to just, you know, Arceus and Luminion, kind of a big deal. But Arceus, man, Arceus got phased out quick, bro. Just saying. Now it's just Lugia. Arceus didn't even make it a year. It too, it's true, he did also get Choice Belt. Magma Basin, Sharon's Care, yeah. Yeah, that's definitely a big deal set. Collapsed. Ultra Ball came back. Sword and Shield Base, like, obviously those Intellians. Sword and Shield Base, you know, the Drizzile, the Intellian, Oranguru. Sword and Shield Base is also really nuts. Zashi and V. Right. I mean, imagine this. Okay, so, you know, I had the weirdest feeling. I was, I was building my, I was building my decks to test for Toronto, right? Building my decks to test for Toronto. And... What do you think I did with my Arceus deck and my Palkia deck? Surely when I bought the cards for Arceus and Palkia, I was like, oh yeah. These two cards will just be good as long as they're legal. I literally unsleeved them. Yeah, man. I, uns I unsleeved them. Yes, Goblin, you're the winner. Yeah, I unsleeved them. That felt very weird. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah that didn't feel didn't feel right I was like dang bro tell me how tell me how these cards are just so yeah it was nuts man crazy 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 Anyways, let's, uh, I'm down to try Duraludon again. You know, for the funsies. That's not the right kind of energy. I just don't... Yeah, not a big... Not a big draw. You're going to need, like, infinite of those... It's like you can't even afford to play cave. You got to play like you could play a couple of caves and you could play a couple of uh Oh, you can't even play temples cuz you kind of need 
So you gotta play caves. You need the double turbo, so. Yeah, research. Serena. Just need big parasols. Okay. Yep. Cool. Something like that. We could play, um, Joe, what's up, Chip? Hey, great job at Latin American International Championships, man. Hopefully you're doing well back home. Oh, yeah, Raihan. Yeah, we'll play a Raihan. Mr. Rhyme. <laughs> oh, you know me, Chip. You know me. You don't need 10 energy. Yeah, we're cool with, like, this many. Oh, but you do want to... Well, yeah, that's fine. We got Raihan. We're chilling. We got Serena. We got Boss. Mr. Rhyme can't be back. Yeah, four Parasol. Four Parasol, brother. Espeon VMAX gives up three prizes, so we can't do that. Four Umbrellas. Caves, Potions. Yeah, this is perfect deck right here. And we'll do a, uh, you got to do a mustard just for the culture. Here we go. Marnie's. Boss. Too much potion. What? Roxanne. All right, I'll go three big pairs. Is there a gold umbrella? Oh, baby. What? Yeah, now our deck is looking fine. There's some gold quick balls too, though. We got to play those. Okay. But what other cards do you even need in here? Like, what do we? What do we? What do we need? What do we need that we don't have? Excuse me. I do love shoes. Tower of Darkness. Oh boy. Tower of Dark. Uh, don't you want a Crystal Cave to like heal your guy? Karen's Conviction and Trekking Shoes. What do I need Karen's Conviction for? What do I need? What are? Right, what do I? What do I need Karen's conviction for? <laughs> like, what do you? For doing what? Please, explain to me. To Oko thing. Okay, what things? To one Hikeo Lugia. Don't we beat Lugia because they can't touch us? Some Lugia play path, not the good ones. <laughs> I 
A lot of path in Lugia for what? Why are Lugia playing path? Lugia lists are not playing basic energy. That's cap. No way. Sure. All right. Fine. The tower definitely stinks. This card... No, no chance is this thing good. Bruno, I ain't playing no Bruno, bro. Nobody plays Echoing Horn except for Mew. Yeah, I agree with that. Culver's, I, I rock with Culver's for sure. You just need to set up. I like that. Go two hyper potion. Shoes? I'm down with shoes. You guys want to... I'm about the shoe lifestyle, actually. Get the Culver's out of here. Yeah, just shoes. Now we're rocking and rolling. This is a beautiful list. That's 60 cards right there. Arc Arceus do <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes Arc do You guys want to predict? Sure. All right, let's let it rip. Do I want to go first? What kind of question is that? Of course I want to go first. All right, what am I what am I up against over here? World Championships 2015 Crimson Invasion deck box. Sussing them out. Jose. All right, what's up Jose? Why has it always got to be like this? It doesn't have to be like this. Cool. All right. We'll do this, and I'll pass. Why does it always got to be like this? You know, try to build a deck, have some fun. No fun for you. You play Arceus Draw on Mirrors. That's what you get. That's fine. They got Colvers' experiment. They got to draw it on. Now, if they have more healing than me, they're just going to win. Unfortunately, my umbrellas aren't doing anything. Nothing. It's like against matches like this, like I wish I was playing my superior deck now. That'd be sick. Okay. Probably Ultra Ball away this terrible tower thing. Hyper Potion. So if they do 180, 180 minus 120, 120. Yeah, it's 
the hyper potion math probably only matters under Aladon. It's Ultra Ball away. These things. Go get Arceus. Whoop! Okay. Boss's orders. Quick ball. Duraladon. Here we go. Trinity Nova. And then... Next turn, I'm gonna starbirth for uh, <laughs> for for my uh, my fella, you know. Next turn, I'm gonna starbirth for the uh, the thing that whips out the Duraldon out of nowhere, you know that guy. Oh yeah, mustard. Next turn, I'm mustarding. Anybody down to anybody down to mustard? I'm gonna put some ketchup, bro, on my hot dog with some mustard. That's what we got. Cause there's no way they play path, and there's no way they knock out my Arceus. So they got nothing. That's right, buddy. Perfect top deck, flawless top deck. Starbirth time. Mustard. A little bit of spicy mayo. What other cards are even? <sighs> it's nothing worth getting. I'm just gonna get the mustard, bro. That's it. And energy. Get the energy. There we go. Mustard. Let's get the Duraldon. on. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That's eh, cool. I'll hop your potion it off. Okay, here we go. Knockouts. Bada boom, bada bing. Beautiful deck. We've done it. We've achieved Nirvana. What else do you want? You've set up two Arceus, or two Duraldon, one Arceus. No other liabilities in the discard pile. No other liabilities on the board. The perfect eight prize game. Just two beautiful dons oh yeah he's got shred never mind i'm chilling i forgot about that right he shreds he doesn't care no oh, okay that's fine it shows how many duraldon mirrors i've played not enough the duraldon mirror cannot be very exciting what do you guys think Lugia mirrors, drawled on mirrors. Yeah, Lugia mirrors are at least quick. <laughs> Usually know whether or not to scoop, you know, on turn two or three. Okay. So, uh... Let's see, if I could gust up this guy, that would... Be ideal, I think. Evolution Incense. Thin. As far as Gus, we only have the one Serene in the deck, so I'm not actually going to worry too much about that.
Ultra Ball, thin the deck a little more. Just get dudes we do not want. Get them out of here. Research, I'm okay with research. We just wanna get deeper into the deck, so let's do that. Do that. Do that, research. Wow, look at that draw power. Quick ball away, Arceus. Get another fella. Okay. That's cool. What's well, uh, Trinity Nova? Sure. 180 damage. I got one Hyper Potion in the deck. So then we knock this thing out, then I gotta knock out one Duraldon. Okay. And they've gotta knock out two. So we should just be fine. I don't think that there's anything they can do about it. They gotta knock out two Duraldon. I gotta knock out one. And I'm on the play. It's so like we should. It should just be that. But what do I know? They do, of course, have some healing. Thin that out of the deck. Tower of Darkness. Sure. Wow, look at all these cards I'm drawing. Ultra Ball these away. Just want to get down to like the real, you know, bottom of the deck. Marnie. And... Okay. That's fine. Pulverize. <laughs> 200 damage. Duralodon. Go get him, buddy. So if I hit for, if they heal, that's annoying, but I'm still, I'm so far ahead that I'd have to heal twice. And I have a heal. So they'd have to heal three times to my one, which I don't think they can do. And our deck is so thin that we shouldn't be able to, we shouldn't get disrupted out of what we need. Should not. I don't think so. Ultra Ball away these cards. Those are bad. Don't need those. Get this. Actually, I can only heal 100. Does that math even make a difference? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it, but I'm pretty sure that math does not make a difference. Which is why we need to play Crystal Cave, bro. Oh, it does make a difference. By 10. Whew. Okay. Pulverize. We're chilling. Look at us go. Insane. I shouldn't have this double turbo energy here. Sure, if my opponent plays Karen's, they take a knockout and then I just win though. So what mattered more? We'll go for the boss. Doesn't really do it. Unless... Oh, I should have Marnie last turn so that I had a chance of having that Serena I need for game, but they've got zero energy on that thing now, so I think I'm chilling. Try with Altaria? Oh, I think I'm... 
they don't have the right energy. Oh, <laughs> oh that's not correct. Yes, if they had Hyper Potion and Karen. But no, because then they still would have had to knock out the last Duraludon. So no, it would not have won them the game. Because I'm still ahead, and I bring up my fresh one, and I smack. They would have had to have two Hyper Potion heals back to back with the the second Duraludon gets one KO, the second Karen. Oh, okay. With a All right, so if they go double Karen, sure, sure, sure. I guess. I suppose the second Karen will get us there. The towers were kind of fire, dude. I was drawing tons of cards. Trekking shoes into ch into tower. I'm out here flying through my deck. I got big D. I guess he's bigger D, really. Because Duraludon is big, or because, uh, Big D, he's Big D, bro. D for Duraludon. Bigger D. Big D is, uh... Big D is Drapion V. Bigger D is Duraludon. <laughs> See, he's bigger. All right, we're up against a wheezing deck. If there's one thing that my Duraludons don't really care about, it's wheezing. We've got a pretty solid opening hand. Big Parasol, that like prevents poison damage too. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, we're going to slap those things down and quick ball away a metal energy. And we're going to get an Arceus. And then I think I'm kind of just chilling. That's fine. I don't actually want to play the Serena right now. So we'll pass. And then... Oh, why didn't I attach the energy? Because I forgot. Because <laughs> I thought I did. I thought I did. That's... <laughs> See, today I'm focusing on chat too much. Yeah, bro. I'm really dialed in. Today, it feels like a let's a just chatting stream today for sure. Thank you, Pillywinks, for that prime sub. Appreciate it. We're just having a little fun out here. That's right, Christoa. For sure. If I don't put energy down, I can't get hammered. I actually didn't... <laughs> so, that I, so that I could do this play. I knew it. <laughs> this is why right here. Yeah, y'all are some haters, bro. Nah, I don't even want that stadium for real. Oh, I want this. <laughs> yeah, I want that too. <laughs> yeah, y'all are some serious haters <laughs> for no reason. Oh boy, that's fine. Not a single fighting energy in my deck. Ah, it's cool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's cool, man. <laughs> I don't even need them for real.
the fan that's fine hammers holy oh man <laughs> oh man that's fine you can't even poison me brother backup energy right there easy mode Marnie into the Arceus. All right, we didn't quite get the Arceus. That's okay. We got the Arceus next turn guaranteed. They can't poison my guys. Might as well swing. No. There's no point in swinging. All right, we got another Marnie. Cool, cool. Well. Yo, chill, brother. Chill. No. Chill, bro. Chill. 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 Oh, no need to. Oh, no need to do this, man. Huh. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. We can't... Oh, Temple the Other Draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually forgot I could do that. Yeah. That's fine. We're getting married again. I would have found the Arceus, too. It's definitely right here. Yep. Okay. It's cool. We're sweeping right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dialed in. We got this. Who cares? 120 damage? No problem. Oh, and the... I forgot about the umbrella bug, dude. Ugh. This is criminal. The... Uh, Man, bro. Um, that's fine. I'm out of energy, so uh, now, admittedly, we don't play a lot, but they're all gone. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I need to play a little bit more energy than uh, than what I got Rocket with right here. That's for sure. Is it a rod? No, nah, no rods. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> they need to cut that out. Listen here, buddy. Research could see it, honestly. I've got a switch in here. Another one. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'll I'll take the shoes. Ooh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Boy! And they lose. Oh, they turned the... No, they didn't turn the parasol back. This one's just going to stay broken for the rest of the game. Yep. Oh, we have two energy prized. 
Regardless, I should have never set up these Duraludons. It should have just been two Arceus. I know this deck better than anybody because it's my deck. <laughs> so I know I know exactly what I'm getting into here, all right? No, I didn't invent Duraludon. This wheezing Kramomatic deck. It's literally, this is my list for sure. The video's got like, I don't know, like a hundred something thousand views on YouTube. It's the, it's one of my biggest videos. I do love this deck. I think it's sick. What do you guys say? You say we flip. All right. Now here's the thing is we're just, we shouldn't even be close to losing this game, but this card is bugged. So <clears throat> I'm not playing Charles. I'm playing Charles. There's a difference. You guys just want to risk it. Nah, there's no reason to risk it. Just let it get knocked out. We'll do that. Pass. And then we promote this guy. And then evolve him next turn. They just need to not hit a hammer. No problem. They won't hit it. Oh, this is getting real bad, guys. It's fine. We're fine. Okay, 19 cards in deck. Just need another energy here. You cannot Raihan after getting knocked out from poison. Maybe this parasol will work. Nope. <laughs> it just it did not. <laughs> nope. Broken parasol. No tool jammer. Just parasols don't work. It's fine. I've been on the winning end of this bug, so it's only fair. Yeah, super turbo jammer. That's right. Cramomatic. Tails. I don't know why it's a bug. Bugs be bugging, you know? Okay. Here we go. Taking the knockout. I've got more double turbos in the deck. I actually got all four double turbos are in the deck, which is pretty sick. There's another basic fighting. That's great. But I can say with confidence that this is uh, this is definitely Weezing's worst matchup is Arceus. It's one of the things that makes Weezing better now or Arceus better. I don't know what I'm trying to say, bro. It's better now than it used to be because there's less Arceus generally. All right, my man. I'm going to need to flip heads here. That or just... I can't really retreat. Ultra Ball. I've got this guy. No, we really can't retreat. Oh, I think we just go... Attach Fighting. Tower Darkness. Yeah, this is fine. I'll Hyper Potion myself. There we go. Yeah, now you're 
you're ruined for sure. Well, it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. They would never gust up one of our other draw. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Here we go. Whoop. Try it again. All right, we got this one. Let him have it. Nope. Shake it off there, buddy. Come on. Come on. Arceus, you just got to put the ball in the hole. You got it. You're right here. You're right here at the finish line. Fan, that's fine. You think we top deck the, uh, or does it go to the bottom of the deck? Or does it just go back into the deck? Oh, well, there it is. Anyways. Here we go, buddy. Come on. Yes. Oh, sweet victory. A beautiful dub. <laughs> Yeah, that one was fine. Yeah, there was no... No sweat whatsoever with that one. Duraldon coming in clutch. To finish things out. Do we want to go first? Well, yeah. I'm playing Arceus Duralodon. Of course I want to go first. Okay, we got Arceus Duralodon up against a brave little pumpkin. Probably a Lugia deck, but you never really know. We'll attach double turbo energy to Arceus and Quick Ball, discarding the Marnie and we'll get Duraldon. on everything looks good and we'll pass it over to my opponent see if we are going to be up against a Lugia deck now if we are up against Lugia we've got some plans we've got things we can do we can put big parasols on our Duraldons. that's the primary thing that we need to do because, and this is a Lugia deck, because Lugia typically doesn't have any way to damage Duralodon VMAX because their whole deck is made up of special energy. That's just what it do. Primal Turbo accelerates special energy into play, and Duralodon VMAX can't be damaged by Pokemon that have special energy attached to them. There's a loophole, though. And the loophole is that they can use Amazing Yveltal, or Yveltal in parentheses, Amazing, as some sources refer to it. Amazing Yveltal. Uh-oh. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. Amazing Yveltal. Um... Oh, boy. Can one hit KO your Dural on VMAX? But it cannot do so if you have a big parasol attached since it prevents all effects of attacks and Yveltal's amazing destruction attack is an effect of an attack. Okay. This is tough. Let's do it. Draw two. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Tower of Darkness, more like Tower of Being Broken, am I right? Trekking shoes, don't want that. Oh my gosh, we've got a broken, filthy, disgusting deck. 
And we'll attach that big parasol there. And Trinity Nova. For the knockout, we'll place some energies onto our other fella over here. And I'm feeling pretty good about this. In fact, there's a scoop. GG's, Lugia. Lugia. More like who, Gia? Never heard of him. <laughs> yeah. You guys like that one? That was good. <laughs> hey, thanks. Thanks, guys. I'll be here all week. Except for Friday. I'm going to be on my way to Toronto then. Ooh, baby. Well, let's go. Going second. That's fine. Got a broken opening hand right here. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. All right, we're up against another Lugia deck with our Arceus Duraludon deck. We've got a Serena. They've got a Lugia. Good stuff. I'm going to bench a couple of Duraludons. Attach this here. Quick ball away. The Arceus. Go get another Arceus. I should not have attached that there. At all, actually. They're going to knock out my guy. Well, probably should have gone for the double turbo, but... Uh, it's fine, really. It's fine. Yeah, Serena. I have to hope that they just don't have it. There we go. And we'll pass. That's fine. We can't. We cannot put down two Arceus V. We cannot. We cannot. If we put down two Arceus V, we've already lost. Because they can theoretically vacuum off our Parasol and Uveltal one of these, right? They don't have it. Quit playing with me, dog. You marnied into nothing. You don't have a Lugia V star. All right, they got a Lugia V star. Dang it. It's okay. That's fine. They're going to read the wind. Read the wind. That's all they got. We're chilling, dude. Look at us. They didn't want to just get out one fella. And now look at us. Starbirth. For Marnie. Double turbo energy. Isn't that nice? Double turbo here. Marnie. And now we're doing things. Cool. We'll save all that. I do want to Ultra Ball away. These. Go get the second Duraldon on VMAX. Make it as difficult as possible for them to do stuff. And then here we go. Attach the fighting energy there and the metal energies. I'm going to need another uh, couple energies in this deck. What do you guys think? Yeah. I'm running a little dry. <laughs> A little drier than I'd want to be. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, I'm a. I'm a need to. Uh, I'm gonna need to put another metal. Yeah. 
My metal energy count is not correct right now, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll we'll get there. I, I think I have three five. <laughs> Yeah, three seven seems better. Yeah, but it's cool. They ain't, they ain't gonna do nothing. How's the deck do against Mew V Max? Well, see what we do is we get out Duraludon, and uh, we try to counter their paths every time they play that down, and then we try to heal our guys. You think they got... They don't got Gust. All right, we're chilling, dude. I do need to find... Uh, my Parasol, though. I have to play it. We'll take it. playable card so we have to take it okay attach here do that mustard draw five there it is so put that there and we've got the Rihon kind of broken okay just in case they get it you know Do that. Draw a couple extra. Yo, I'm cruising right now. A pulverized Duraludon. Pulver. <laughs> Any of you guys ever like watch the stream and just be like, dude, that dude, that dude, Andrew, is crazy. He likes Pokemon way too much. He just sits in that room all day by himself, just cracking himself up. Like. <laughs> <laughs> that dude tricky jim is crazy he's he's silly for sure <laughs> yeah dude's kind of <laughs> i just assume you have like 15 espressos and it all makes sense yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure <laughs> guy's a boomer that's usually what you think a little bit not really I am turning 34 next month though Andrew at the Starbucks, yo, this latte is correct. Research, looking for the vacuum. If they find this vacuum, I'm not really stoked, but I think I still just set up Checkmate by using Raihan. They don't find it. Okay. Um, Actually, do I have the energy left in my deck to be able to I don't actually know. So let's quick ball away. Research. Yeah, there's a fighting left in my deck, but I need metal. Metal's what I'm short on. Oh, lordy. And I don't even have one prize. I'm just out. No, I have one prized. Okay, that's fine. All right, what's up with the big parasols? Okay, we need to find metal energy off the prize. Switch. It's tough. I think, well, listen, I understand I need to run more than five metal, okay? We're just coming to this realization live in front of you guys right now. Um, I'm coming to the stark realization that it's a little bit, a little bit low. They can't deal with double, 
They can't deal with the double D, bro. They can't. The double D, double... <laughs> they can't deal with it. <laughs> All right, Raihan. I need to get another metal energy, though, and I don't have one. So I think I lose. But we'll see if they deck out. They've only got eight cards left in deck, and I don't think that they can attack this thing. I think we just win via deck out. There's no way. If they have a second vacuum, then we lose anyway. GG's. See? It's that easy. Yeah. All right, we need... Uh, I'll concede we want one more... I'll concede that we want at least one more metal energy. Oh, yeah. That, that game was definitely a, a Twitch original. You're not... Yeah, that one's... That's like a VOD deleter for sure, but it's all good. Okay. Uh, where's my Duralodon deck? There it is. Okay, so this is what we're rocking with right now. Three parasols, cracked. You got to play three minimum. This energy count is not not cutting it at all I'm gonna need at least a sixth metal energy Seven? One less shoes. The shoes are the most broken cards in the deck. I'll go three shoes. Four Ultra Ball? Tell you what I like doing. Getting my Arceus, my Arceus into play. Minus quick ball. Why is everybody always giving me suggestions that decrease the consistency of the deck? It's always like, yeah, take out the good cards that help you draw cards and not lose and put in cards that you'll probably never use. Why is it always that? You just, you want to take my good deck and you want to make it worse. I'll admit to you that we need like a seventh... Now the tower of the tower of dankness days for sure. I can go three on Ultra Ball, I guess. The Tower of Darkness is either It's cool, bro. We're chilling. We're chilling. Fine. Two more metal energies. Let's 
Listen, the more double turbos you play, the less times you have to starbirth for them. Understand? All right, we're up against some lost box shenanigans deck featuring Cramorant and Metal Energy. All right, we're up against Lost Box. They've got Comfy, Flower Selecting, Metal Energy, Kramer Ants. Let's see, what's your what's your angle here? Is it Dialga V-Star? I don't think that Dialga is going to be a great matchup for us. There's Zashian. Starting to feel like Turbo Dialga. I don't even want to play this matchup. Yep, this is going to be terrible. On to the next one. Yo, what's up, C-Money? Had no way to... That's what I was hoping, is that the second parasol was just going to stay there. That was actually my entire game plan, was that you could only remove one of them. So, I lucked out. GG's. Yo, Rick. Itching for another gym leader challenge match, huh? Yeah, that one was not good for you. Sorry about that, Rick. Looks like we're up against Lost Box. They've got Comfy and a Battle VIP pass. And it's looking like Lost Box Giratina. This should be a pretty terrible matchup for our Duralodon VMAX deck. Yeah, it's pretty much the opposite of what we want. Yep. This deck plays basic energy, smacks us with easy one hit KOs. I do have three Parasol in the deck. I mean, that might help, but... I've also just got a bad opening hand. If I top deck Arceus V, then this hand is broken. But if I have to research away two basic energies and a double turbo and a switch and a Raihan, then I think I'm I think I'm having a terrible time. Yep. Well it's looking like it's a terrible time. Here we go. Research. And, huh, yeah, pretty much have to quick ball away this, go get an Arceus. We've only got one drawed on VMAX in the deck, one is priced. Our second switch is also priced. Which just is, yeah, gonna make me want to scoop. So, I'm gonna scoop. Cool. Not good, fellas. Not good. This is why friends don't let friends play Duraldon. No. Nah. Friends, don't let friends play Duraldon, chat. You got somebody you love, somebody you care about. They're thinking about playing Arceus Duraldon. You got to have a sit down. Have a real, you know, heart to heart.
about how much of a pile this deck is. Okay, we're up against some sort of Intellian deck. Always fun to see Intellian with Capacious Buckets. So probably Palkia Intellian, if I have to guess. This is a bad matchup for us. Yep, pretty bad. Because they use basic energy to attack. And my ability that prevents damage from Pokemon that have special energy attached does effectively nothing. So not exactly where we want to be. Let's attach this here. Quick ball. Away. That's fine. Tower of Darkness. Sure. And then we're going to go get a Duralodon V. And then I have to Serena and just discard one Hyper Potion. Okay. This is not good. We'll Trinity Charge and accelerate onto Duralodon, but... Looking rough. As my opponent can easily lay waste to my Arceus V this turn, even though I only have one Pokemon on my bench. And this right here is just kind of one of the reasons why I feel like Arceus Duraludon is kind of just powered out. Like, yes, it technically, if you just get two Duraludon out, both with a Parasol, you will checkmate the... <clears throat> towards list which only plays one vacuum like yeah yes you have to acknowledge that but the Pokemon TCG is more than just towards list that has one vacuum there's lots of decks actually that you might face and you have to be able to compete with all of them which Arceus Duraldon does not do a great job of doing which is one of the reasons why it's not very good <coughs> You see? Wow. I lived. That's cool. Okay, maybe there's a chance. That's crazy. All right, well, Marnie. Holy smokes. <laughs> Dang, bro. All right, we got him right where we want him. I guess I might as well Starbirth because this guy probably isn't. Well, I guess he probably is living. So I'll just Trinity Nova. That's fine. I'm going to accelerate two to the Duraldon B, because if that thing gets gusted and knocked out, I don't want to waste three energy on it, you know? We're doing it, chat. We're doing it. Okay. GG's. All right, that's exhilarating right there. Yeah, no more three prize Pokemon ever again. I hope that as long as the Pokemon TCG is around, that we just hopefully, hopefully never see that mechanic again. I'm I'm good forever on three prize Pokemon. I think I've had my fill. No, no four prize Pokemon either. Yes, no three three or greater. No. EX unions incoming. <clears throat> I 
Dang it. I don't want to play this matchup. Okay, we're up against control, baby. <clears throat> Can I win this? I don't think so. Well, we're going to see. Okay. I'm up against control with Arceus Duraldon. We got a pretty good opening hand. Quick ball. We'll discard Arceus, set up Duraldon, and pass. Duraldon VMAX does have the GMAX pulverization attack, which goes through all effects on the defending Pokemon. So even those pesky mill tanks won't be able to deal with my uh, Duraldon VMAX. So I think we should do okay in this matchup, as all we really have to do is set up Duraldon and just start schmacking. That's that's kind of it, right? So we'll do this, we'll do this, and I'm doing okay. We'll Serena, we'll play the Tower of Darkness. We'll Serena, discard these, and keep the switch. We find the Arceus, it's great. We'll go get it. And we're cruising. Let's go. Arceus V Star, baby. Ready to go. Trinity Nova. And we'll accelerate some energy to our buddy Duralodon back here. And would you look at that? Snorlax gone. You know, I think. I'm starting to understand the lure of a deck like Arceus Duraldon. The more I play it, it's just, it's a simple deck. I don't want to say it's like a simpleton's deck, but it kind of is. It's a simple way of life, you know? You're just, you're focused on just the pure basics. I'm going to do one thing, and then I'm going to do other. You know, it doesn't pay much, but it's good honest work. Playing Arceus Duraldon. <clears throat> okay. Uh, that's something that I can't have occurring, is uh, Crushing Hammers. they got three in the discard pile. That's fine. Crushing Hammers on the uh, Duraldon. That's got to... That stuff's got to go. Definitely cannot have that. So they're gonna Gormandize, draw some more. Okay. Let's just attach. And Trinity Nova. I'm just gonna hang on to this. I mean, honestly, there's no reason for me to do anything, really. We're just chilling. Just chilling, taking knockouts. Hanging out with my Duraldon VMAX. Just me and Duraldon. And Arceus. You know? Arceus gets all the dudes set up. Duraldon schmacks. And has 330 hit points. Okay. I've got another... Mewtwo piece into the discard pile. Three Mewtwo pieces in the discard pile. They're chugging along, as you can see. Pookie Muku. Chugging along, trying to get to the bottom of the deck so they can get this Mewtwo V Union out. I think the idea is that they can kind of just heal the Mewtwo V Union every single turn, right? With uh, whatever its heal 200 is. I mean, I guess eventually that will add up. So, at this point, we're just swinging. I don't want to draw any cards or do anything like that. Kind of just force them.
I ain't gonna lose to a mill tank. I'm chilling, bro. They don't have that's hammer number four. We're chilling. They gotta silene them dudes back. So they gotta flip to put the hammers back into the deck, and then they need to flip heads on the hammer again. Nah, 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 nah. We're chilling. We're chilling. Now, to be fair, I should not have. I shouldn't have put the fighting energy into play. Blase, blase. We're fine. This control player is going to sweat it out over their keyboard trying to remove that last fighting energy, and they're not going to be able to do it. And I'm just going to bring up my simpleton Duraldon and G-Max Pulverize. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep clicking G-Max Pulverization until they give me the victory screen. That's it. Which is nice. I gotta say, playing Arceus Duraldon is really cool because I can basically just run it as a let's chatting stream and uh, or just chatting stream. And there's really not that many different plays you can make. So you're kind of just doing the same thing every turn, you know? Oh, we found a Marnie. I still have a fighting energy prize, I think. So yeah, hopefully we find that. If not, things get a little hectic, but I think we're okay. There's no way they have Silene and a Hammer this turn. Couldn't see it. So as so long as I didn't last prize my last fighting, I would like one more fighting energy as like a little, a little insurance. But we don't need it though. The Yellhorn. This is why I've been holding on to my switches. Right here. We knew it was coming. I've been waiting. Snorlax, you got to have more than that. Where's your last Lugia piece? Not Lugia. Where's your last Mewtwo piece? Roxanne, I will simply retreat to knock you out, buddy. Tower of Darkness with a Flannery. It's not going to do it. Benching the puke and puke. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that owns. Sure. We'll research. Big parasol. Retreat into Duraldon. Oh, I could have used. Nah, it's cool. Could have used my Starbirth. I mean, really no reason to, but it's fine. I guess I could have Marnied or something. Oh, we did last prize, the fighting energy. So, so long as we didn't... Uh, so long as Duraldon gets to keep this thing... Yeah, we're probably fine. I mean, even so, I could I could just uh, Starbirth for, like, boss's orders and bring up this Pookie Muku and knock it out or something. They're really out. You got to give it to them. They're out here. They're out here trying, though. Marnie? Set me to four cards. That's okay. And just a pass. All Starbirth. And go get the switch. And that's going to be GG's. Nice. I love the control matchup. That was great Duraludon what a nice simple deck you know feels good
Any of you guys watch Nija Houston's new Nike skate part? 12 minutes of just straight fire. Absolutely mind boggling. It was released yesterday. Even if you're not interested in skateboarding, it's probably some of the best skateboarding you'll ever see. So, highly recommend it. It it was nuts. I mean, dude, like, just... The rails were, like, unnaturally large that he was hitting. Like, the sets, it's just... Everything. 12 minutes of just... Absolutely destroying sets of stairs. It was insane. Okay. Let's see what we're up against. Looks like I'm up against some sort of Omastar deck. That's cool. We've got Arceus Duralodon. I will gladly attach to my Arceus. And Ultra Ball away, Serena and Tower of Darkness to go get Duraldon V. Seems good. And pass. And then next turn, I've got Arceus V Star, Big Parasol, Professor's Research. This is cool. What is this? All right, Primal Guidance. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon that evolve from item cards that have fossil in their name and put them onto your bench. So almost are the keeper of the fossil dudes. And, you know, you could. It's possible to get Archaeops into play with almost are. But the problem is, why wouldn't you just play Lugia, right? It's like you, <laughs> you can't. You can go Primal Guidance, get to Arcan. And then next turn, evolve them into Archaeops, and you're, you know, you're kind of chilling. But I'm wondering if there's any advantage to Omastar over Lugia. I don't think so. But I don't want to say for sure, because I haven't really explored it, but... I can't really think of anything. You can put other fossil dudes into play, which is cool. Well, here we go, Primal Guidance. We're about to see it. Well, Andrew, it looks like they're playing Archaeops box for sure. Here's a Raikou. So that's the thing. I'm just going to set up a Duralodon. I'm going to set up two Duralodons, and there's the double Arkin. There we go. I'm going to set up two, count them, two Duralodons. And then we're just big chilling. Starbirth for the double turbo energy. And... The Evolution Incense. Double turbo this fella. Evolution Incense. Get this guy out. There he is. Beautiful, glorious Duralodon. Quick ball away this guy. Get this guy. Boom. Trinity Nova. 180 damage. Just short of the knockout, but that's okay. Accelerate on to our Duralodon VMAX. And then... We'll see what they've got for us. Oh yeah, but can Lugia tentacle lock? Didn't think so. Didn't think so, chat. That's right. You forgot about tentacle lock. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, 
That's right. Tentacle lock for 110 damage. You didn't think about that. Yeah, it could really do some stuff. Like right here. That almost star about to tentacle lock my Arceus. What am I going to do? 90 damage. Nah, I don't want that. Research. Evolution Incense. Get our other Duralodon. And yeah, now we're now we're chilling. Switch. Pulverize. Goodbye, Elmo Star. Goodbye, buddy. And now we got Duralodon with the Parasol. And the only way that they can damage the Duralodon is if they have basic energy. But the whole deck is designed to use special energy, which is why Duralodon is so cool. Because of its Skyscraper ability, which makes it so that it cannot be damaged by Pokemon that have special energy attached. So usually the only way around that is with Amazing Yveltal or Yveltal Amazing, whichever we want to call it. But Big Parasol prevents you from getting knocked out by Yveltal Amazing. They just have to pass. Yeah, they ain't got it. Understandable. You always shoes into shoes. It's just... Uh, That's just the way it goes. We'll boss up this guy. Do that, do that. Boom, boom, boom. Pulverize. Go down to three prizes. Feels good, man. Path? Man! The guy care about no path? No way do I care about path to the peak. I'll just counter it. How about the path strategy? Nah. Nar. Here's the deal. Here's the deal with everybody who's even thinking about playing path to the peak in their Lugia deck. Is that it makes you better. It makes you. It makes your deck worse in the mirror. Just straight up, because you're playing a worse Lugia deck. And you're not even guaranteed. Like, what are you trying to beat with the paths? It's not. It just ain't it. The paths... They're just making your list worse. And then you're going to lose to the people who aren't playing Path. You already destroy Mew. Yeah. Tord's list is just the best list. I mean, that's... I I fully am... I'm about Tord's Lugia list. I feel like that's just like kind of the... It's exactly where that list wants to be. Tord had it right. Focus on consistency. Play smart. Don't play bad. Play good and, you know, just you good fundamentals. Don't worry about no path. Yeah, I think I, I agree with like all of Tord's calls for that list. It was a great list. It's great. No nonsense, no frills. All right, here's Amazing Yveltal. Can they do it? I've got two prizes remaining. You bench that Lumini and you're going to have a bad time. Oh, here comes the Arceus.
And here's Charizard. Cool. Combustion Blast. I got the Arceus down, but I have game in hand. GG's. We will promote our massive, gigantic Duraludon and use Serena to bring up Luminion and G-Max Pulverization to end the game. GG's, GG's, GG's. Good game. Well played. Duraludon strikes again. All right, you and your psychic deck box. What you got going on over there? Lost box? I do feel a little bit sketched out not having a lot of healing in this deck, but it's fine. Who needs it? We're cool. We're going second. We got a turn one double turbo Trinity charge. No other basics, but that's fine. Looks like we're up against a lost box deck with Arceus Duraldon. We'll see what kind of lost box this is. They've got capture energy, flower selecting, and they are off to the races. Gonna start putting cards into the lost zone. Oh, yeah, there's Raikou. That's cool. Love that. This card is awesome. Big Raikou fan. Raikou is a fantastic card against Lugia. If you can catch him slipping without the Dunsparce out. Or if you can knock out the Dunsparce. Either of those. And your Raikou will be able to take some nice, easy breezy one-hit KOs against Lugia V-Stars. And who doesn't like to do that? You know they must have found something juicy because they just lost zone to scoop up nets. It's looking like this might be Grant's list from top four of LAIC. First we trek. It's a good card. It's a good card. We'll keep it. We'll do this, we'll do this, and We'll Trinity Charge to myself, brother. And then next turn, we'll just Starbirth for our basics next turn. That's fine. I don't think that my opponent has any way to, like, win this matchup. But I guess, yeah, because it's Radiant Greninja, not Radiant Charizard. Radiant Greninja is the, or Radiant Charizard's the only scary one for Arceus Duraldon. Radiant Greninja is like easy. We do not care at all. They got Psychic Energy, Lightning Energy. Yeah, it's looking more and more like Grant's List, Water Energy. Probably Kyogre. Now the Kyogre can do 250 damage to two bench Pokemon. That's what it can do. Which is... uh Scary, okay, scary. But if I got all these parasols on my dudes, then that means they can't be hit by Sableye. Which is really good. And we also, well, uh, Duraludons will not be able to get hit by Capture Energy. So we also have that. I'm thinking that this next turn, I kind of just want to Marnie as Marnies are just good against the Lost Box deck. Just setting them to four cards, really good. Love that. Yeah, and they're kind of prepping their board, getting everything set up. 110 damage, 110 plus 180. We'll take a knockout on my fella. So, I see. We'll do that. And Starbirth for... This guy and a Marnie. Let's do it. Toss that guy down, Marnie.
Got ourselves another big parasol. That's fine, and I have Ultra Ball, which I'll save for next turn. Put that down, and Trinity Nova for the knockout. And accelerates two metal. Only one Hyper Potion in the deck. We'll do... See, I need... That's fine. Yep, we'll accelerate these here. And then... That way I can potentially Hyper Potion. With a manual attachment for my hand. That'd be good. Probably going to want to Hyper Potion this Duraldon throughout the game. I am expecting this Arceus to get knocked out by Snorlax. That's fine. And I'll come up with Duraldon, knock out the Snorlax. Then they usually would like tempo into Sableye, Sableye, right? Try to like soften my dudes up so that they can Kyogre. The problem is also that I will only have two Pokemon set up. So, Kyogre can only hit the bench. So, that's kind of where their issue is going to run it. They actually, I remember now, I played this Lost Box deck all day yesterday, and I literally just could not beat Arceus Duraldon. It was a terrible matchup. So, <laughs> I, I think we're just going to run away with this one for sure. You're right, I could just not bench another Duraldon. Yeah. I could just hold off on that until I'm feeling threatened in any kind of way. And I might never feel threatened in any kind of way. So that's another good thoughts. They just don't have a good way to deal enough damage to the active to do anything meaningful. They just got a Snorlax out here. That's fine. Cramorants, 110 damage at a time. And they can't place damage counters with Sableye. They do have one vacuum in the deck. If it's Grant's list. Cool. We will... Serena and discard these three to draw four cards and we'll ultra ball away to quick balls to go get Duraldon VMAX and it's time to pulverize Duraldon <laughs> to 220 damage good boy then what do they do? We're at four to four prizes. They need a way to damage the active. I am Joey. What's up, Joey? Thank you. I am going to be attending San Diego. Yes. San Diego, Arlington, and Toronto. So that's what we got on the agenda. I love using Pokestop for sure. I didn't need to use it this turn, but if I need to dig for a Hyper Potion, you can bet I'm going to let it rip. We'll see what the the championship point situation is looking like by the time Orlando rolls around, but I think I probably will go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of down to clown with whatever this year. This year's the year I got I to gotta go to Japan, so... I lived there for three years when I was just a wee lad. My dad was in the Navy. So we were stationed there. And I haven't been back since I was like seven. So it'd be a dream of mine to go back. We got bosses or deers, which I don't really need. So the Snorlax is back. Kind of annoying. Let's just research. Oh, that's nice. We'll Hyper Potion the Duralda. 
Okay. And then... Pulverize. That's fine. I save my other energy. You know, I might want to set up a Arceus or something. I don't have my other Hyper Potion in the deck, so... So that's all the healing for this guy. But I've only got three prizes left. And at best, my opponent has to two-hit KO this Duralodon. So that's at best. That's if they Snorlax... I mean, even Snorlax plus a... Sheesh. Snorlax plus a Cramorant doesn't even get the, get in there. They have to Snorlax, Snorlax. Yo. I mix... No, I do not use Telegram... If anybody is getting messages from a spam account on YouTube, do not interact with them. That is a that is a scam spam account. If anybody on the internet ever asks you to message them on Telegram, say no. All right? It is not legitimate. Say no. Do not do that. Those are scammers. They are not me. I don't even know what Telegram is. Yes, but do not do that. They are just going to try and take money for you, from you. Do not do that. All right, they got Snorlax, Sableye. Cool. Kyogre is here. There he is. And they're schmacking with the lax. Cool. I feel like at this point, I can set up another dude. Let's go Ultra Ball away. These? I could do... No, I am out of metal energy. So we're going to do... Well... I probably find... I got a metal energy in my hand. Yeah, we're chilling. Okay, we set up another guy. We go here, we go here. And we just hang tight with this hand. We pulverize. <laughs> Man, bro. No, no, not time out. Ban this guy. All right, here we go. Ban. Yes, very good. Nice. I banned somebody, chat. That was fun. <laughs> I don't get to do that very often. But it's always a thrill when I do. They were just some sort of spam bot. No, they weren't joking. It was a spam bot. I don't I don't ban people for telling good jokes. I love jokes. You guys seen that episode of South Park where they meet the lions? They're like, we love jokes. <laughs> Us lions, we love jokes. <laughs> Man, it was so good. Attach that. Pulverize. Nice, I found my other hyper potion. I'm playing Arceus Duraldon because it just seemed like... 
The thing is, I can't make exciting YouTube content out of this deck, bro. It's like watching paint dry. <laughs> I, can't. I can't. No matter how much I try to... No matter how hard I try to make this look exciting, bro. I cannot. <laughs> I, can, I cannot. Yeah. You literally just attach energy and swing <laughs> every turn. You attach energy, you smack. You attach energy again, you keep smacking. I look at it, we're doing it. It's brilliant. Scratch for 20 damage. Feels good. We'll go down to one prize remaining. But I've got the Raihan. Go get the fighting energy. And that's GD's. Pulverize. Duralodon. Let him have it. GG's, GG's. I don't know. Maybe I do have a... Maybe I do have enough content for an Arceus Duralodon video. Maybe. That was a fine... A fine game there. We played against Lost Box and we won. Exactly how we're supposed to. That was great. LeBron at you. Good luck. We'll get there with the Arceus Duralodon list. It's cool. I feel like maybe I need to... Maybe I need to spice up the list with a, a Karen's Conviction or something. You know, then we'd get the real Poggers results. Arceus Duralodon against Gudra V-Star. A matchup for the ages. We're going first. I like that. And we got the Dream Start. An Arceus V and an Energy. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. It's everything we want. Now, the cool thing about this matchup is that Duraludon VMAX just, uh, you know, it shreds through Gudra's thing. Whatever its wall, you know, its, it's rolling iron attack. Now, it looks like my opponent researched and did not find an Arceus. That's not going to go well for them. You really want to find an Arceus? You know? Yeah, that's going to help. So we'll Ultra Ball away these. Um, away these. Um, yeah, away these. Yep. And we're going to go get Arceus. Cool. And Marnie. No reason to play that stadium yet. We've got an atrocious looking hand, but it's fine. It's exactly what we're here for. Starbirth fixes everything. And we'll go get this guy and another Marnie. Seems good. Bench that. And Trinity Nova for 180 damage. We'll accelerate some energy onto our Duraldon. And there we go. The perfect turn one, turn two. Can't ask for much more than that. It's exactly what we want. They got Coerces Experiment, sure. Not going to allow them to launch an attack. This turn, though, because... In order to perform a meaningful attack, I should say. They could slip and trip if they want to, but that's not a very meaningful attack. 
Rolling Iron or Trinity Nova are the two attacks that they are going to want to get going. Slip and Trip, looking like that might be it, though. Not ideal, as I'm going to go up two prizes real quick by knocking out this Gudra. They are able to quick ball for an Arceus V. That's fine. And I guess my Duraludon's coming into the active spot. Let's put down this. I don't think that this 60 damage even matters. We'll put this here and Marnie. Ooh, we have not found a Drawdon yet. Two more cards. Still no Duraludon. It's fine. Getting in there with the Gatling Slug, bro. 70 damage. Gets it done. That's fine. That would be cool if we were able to get our Duraludon VMAX out as it cannot be hit by double turbo energy, but that's okay. We've got, like, all our energies in our hand right now, which is not exactly where you want them. They got Melanie and double turbo energy, so they're kind of rocking and rolling now. That's fine. I'll quick ball for another Duraludon, attach an energy to it, Serena for some cards, and hopefully find a Hyper Potion with a Duraludon VMAX. That would be sick. If not, well, we'll see how it goes. 150 damage, not ideal. Do not want my Duraludon to sustain that much damage at all. But it's cool. They did have to use their V-Star power, so that means no healing business on Gudra, which is great. We do have Switch. I like that. Can get that thing out of harm's way. Good. We'll get another Duraludon V. Attach this energy to it. And then Serena discarding these and drawing four we whiff everything again no we don't here we go okay so yes we will take this we will use it to go get Duraludon VMAX Duraludon VMAX hyper potion this guy that's what I'm talking about baby and then sure Trinity Nova accelerates another energy into play, and we're huge chilling. This is a pretty ideal situation for us. We went first. We're setting up. We healed our Duraludon. Accelerated another energy into play. And they've got a damaged Arceus. They just have to Trinity Nova. Not even a knockout. The 60 plus the 180 is not enough. So I'll just do this and Trinity Nova. It's fine. We don't want to put one of our Duraludons up in harm's way. So we'll just leave the Arceus up there. Take two more prize cards. And try to just out trade this Gudra. They probably do have hyper potions in the deck. We have to be aware of that, but we are swinging for 220 damage every turn. We're ignoring all effects on their Pokemon. So rolling iron, decreasing damage by 80 is doing nothing. They could hyper potion, right? But hyper potion will heal 120 and a hundred plus 220 is still 320, we'll take the knockout, so they would have to double Hyper Potion. We've got the double Turbo Energy. Great. Quick Ball away Arceus. Thin the deck out. We just want to get all of these goobers out. This is something that helps, right? So if you guys don't know what I'm doing there, it's just a really good teaching moment. 
is like I have the quick balls in my hand and I have professor's research, right? You always play the quick balls. It's called thinning the deck. And that's because I don't want to draw into these because I'm not going to put them into play anymore. I have no need for them. I've already set up. So we're getting them out of the deck so that when I play this professor's research, it's going to be all juice that I draw into. Yeah. All juice, right? This is all juice. This is all good stuff. We didn't want to draw into any Arceus Vs. No, don't need those. In fact, we just wanted the juice. So we'll Ultra Ball away these. Go get Duralodon, VMAX, and yeah, having a good time. 200 damage. We got the double, we got the double Duralodon, double Parasol board state. The magical double parasol play. <laughs> yes, Kobe Star precisely. All right, they got the Crystal Cave. That's fine. They got the Hyper Potion. That's okay. I've got time on my side. They can't do this forever. They will eventually succumb. Tracking shoes. We get to heal. It's not even worth drawing more cards. We'll just Raihan into what we need. Do that. Oh, I guess I should have played the Tower of Darkness for sure, but... Yeah. If I retreated, I would have KO'd it. Oh, is that true? That's nah, fine. <laughs> I just wanted to play one more turn, you know? I didn't do my math, so. There we go. GG's. Like I said, Duralodon, a simple deck. You force eight prize games. You pulverize things. No one can stop you. You don't care about any effects on the defending Pokemon. A glorious deck. So. In conclusion. Arceus Duralodon. Uh, Duralodon is definitely better than Gudra. Yes. Right now. Yes. 100% no question. There we go. That's uh, that's it. Pretty simple, straightforward. You can mustard. Who doesn't like mustard? You get to play mustard, unironically. Just a nice, consistent list. No frills. No funky stuff. The Tower of Darknesses actually were necessary. Um, weirdly. What do you need Colrus for? Colrus wouldn't be bad. But you also don't need it. It's fine. Nice for growing the hand. You don't always want to research. Research is just what you play on turn two when you're like, I need to hit an Arceus right now. Yeah. Yeah. Limited healing, but the idea of this Arceus Duraludon deck is just to force eight prizes. Realistically, you're only going to Hyper Potion twice. So just do it twice. Yeah. You know? If you're up against Lugia, you don't need to heal against Lugia because you just, you just try to get out the double Parasol, double Duraludon play and just hope that that just wins, right? You're you're literally just going for a board state checkmate against Lugia. And it, and if they have it, they have it. If they don't, you win. That's it. 
you try to establish board state checkmate. And then what else is there? Yeah, no big charm because you got to play this. And this is good against Giratina, too, so that's nice. A one of Adventure's Discovery? No, because it's a unsearchable. As a general rule, I do not like playing supporter cards that can be easily replicated with items. Because why would you? Yeah. So, like, you just play more Evolution Incenses or whatever. And it's also unsearchable. I mean, yeah, you could Starbirth for it. Are you going to Starbirth for the Adventures Discovery? No, probably not, because at that point you've already got Arceus V-Star in play, so are you really going to go? Probably not. But yeah, this deck was not bad. I will I will rebuild the Arceus deck that I have probably as Arceus Duralodon to continue testing for Toronto. I think that this is the best version of Arceus. If you are an Arceus lover... And you are dead set on continuing to play Arceus. This is probably the best kind of Arceus deck you can play right now. Right. Gonna give you the best the best time possible. Or a Duralodon lover. Yeah, that's fine. Why four three quick balls instead of the other way around? Because Ultra Balls are harder to play. And it's really just about you like you need to get Arceus down turn one, or you need to get Duraldon down turn one, or you want to get Duraldon down turn one. I feel like the evolution incenses are kind of like your fourth Ultra Ball. It could go either way. It really doesn't make a difference. But the Ultra Balls are hard to play in this deck, so that was kind of like the idea. You do still have five outs to an evolution. You have five outs to an evolution. You've got four outs to basic, or you got seven outs to basics, which is pretty good. And you've got this Duraldon V Max, which makes the third Duraldon V Max makes it so that you don't need. You know what I mean? Like you have kind of high counts there. Yeah, I mean it could go either way. It's like I'm not. I'm not like die hard attached to that being that way at all it could easily go either way the two evolution incenses are good though could you sprinkle in some drill? not into this deck no is this the best counter to a Lugia deck it's one of them yes Duraldon is definitely one of the better decks against Lugia for sure Sar of Zards, both use the towers to counter path to the peak, and then also against against matchups where you don't need stadiums as much, you can just use them to help you draw. All right. Anyways, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I got some work I got to do tonight. Thank you guys for tuning in. Happy stream. That was a good stream. Good stream chat. Good stream. We'll be back tomorrow with some more Pokemon TCG content coming right at you. Make sure to check out FullGripGames.com for all the best dealios. We've got some holiday sale going on right now with lots of discounted sealed product. So, yeah, you know what? I, I did grow to like the towers. They're okay. You know, I realized once I started playing the deck, I realized how much of a, how much of a pure, I'm not going to call it a potato, a hash brown. It's just this deck pure hash hash browns are tasty no this is like a it's a potato all right so with the tower of darkness is you turn the potato into a nice hash brown there you go see now we got it exactly you dress it up a little bit you know you make the potato nice because <laughs> yeah who doesn't like drawing cards it's great yeah, or or tots, you know, or french fries, whatever your favorite. But it's still a potato. Yes, yeah, see? This this symbolism goes really far. All right, anyways, let's raid somebody. Thank you guys for the stream. Y'all have a lovely evening. I'll be back tomorrow. 
and then Thursday, and then Friday, I am going to the Toronto Regional Championships, so I'm not going to be around. But, should be a good time. All right. Let's, uh, let's raid. Let's raid. Shall we? Hmm. Who do you guys want to raid? Any, uh, feeling any type of way one way or another? Not a lot of suggestion, or not a lot of... You know, not a lot of people online right now, but... Let's go check out the animals. Is Gumi cool? Gumi Gummy? Gumi's grant. All right, Gazer, sure. You got it, Gazer. 